for him. I have it wouldn't really matter. And the uh, energy packs last a lot longer than you think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it was 200 shots, and I've used five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's so... being conservative. <laughs> so you make it back let... to the alleyway. There is a There's just a shimmering blue portal. It looks like the one you came through to get to Sigil, but it's blue instead of bronze. All right. Do we go in? I don't know. Do we go in? I still don't trust it. So, who volunteers to go first? <sighs> Not me. I refuse to be labeled a coward. I, I <laughs> march forward into it. Vert's kind of going to nod and sympathizing with you going in at, right after you. All right. Yeah. Griswold is going to go in afterwards. <laughs> All right. Final so, bell. Okay. You, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so you... Um, you make your way through the portal. You find yourself back in the central chamber. Um, uh, as Kalani steps through the portal, the entire mountain shakes once again, and a large rock comes sailing into the chamber. Kalani, I'm going to have you make a dexterity saving throw. All right. Still here. One sec. Gosh, freaking dang it. Because this thing rolled a 29 to hit, so I'm going to have to <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's dexterity this. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I just realized what my dexterity modifier is. <laughs> you guys can use your, use your cards if you want to. I don't have a card. Mine I... wouldn't be of any hell. Mine's a crit hit. So I know. I mean... Would you like to hide? Would, would, would Do I have like time to... to... These trying times? <laughs> I was gonna say, like... I got... Hey, John? I don't think this thing know. hates me exactly as much a as Avery does. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, you remember... <laughs> so, before I say anything else, we have, like, a, a Groundhog Day thing going on right now, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> You take of six, course it was going to be me first. You take, you take 63 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> okay, so you guys just watched my character just get crunched like a tin, like a, like a soda can. Congratulations, John. You've killed off your first character. Um, and all of you all of you feel all of you feel a pulling in the timeline and when it ends you are all standing just outside of the alleyway I'm really like, what just happened what did you do come on so I'm just fine yes you are you are fine again yeah, I'm just what happened I guess we'll move five feet that All way. Right. All right, Kalani, your turn. All right, so what's you it to are, throw? Uh, make on uh, just an attack roll, like you would with your axe. With with my axe? Yes, because okay. you are proficient with improvised weapons. All right. <laughs> so let's see here. How much does Noker Jelly weigh? Probably about a hundred pounds. What's your strength score? My strength score? Yes. Uh, the score, not the modifier. The score, uh, yes. Yeah, it's a 19. <laughs> All right. Your carry weight is 570 pounds, so it's about... It's about a quarter of your carry weight. So let me check my throwing objects rules. This is not the throwing object rules. Uh, so make your attack roll. I'm just get it. I'm just preparing to figure out how much damage you're doing. Um, Fort knife. Uh, just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Attack 
pretty sure you're doing it. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to open. No, I need the throwing object. Where's where the heck are throwing object? Throwing creatures object. Here we are. There we go. Okay, just a second. Uh, so about a quarter or so. Yes, you are not suffering disadvantage with this attack roll. Uh, so yes, you, awesome. will, you will absolutely hit. So roll 4d6. 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 Yes, because this yeah. is a medium creature. All right. So, uh, hang on, let me see. Uh, All right. Uh, you 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 see um this big Gerudo like lift the ogre yeah, jelly the above, big armored above demon. her head and throw it at the other what? one, and they uh, both like splat a, together. Flip that thing like a pizza paddle. <laughs> they both splat together and then fly into a tree and die. <laughs> and that's how you end an encounter, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, yeah, so I'm I'm just looking over over the nice rack of warg I've got right now. Just Hey, you think we could grill these things? Brutal oh, burst out laughing. Do it. Uh, hey, make a survival check. Yeah, no, let's let's see if we can grill these things. <laughs> no, seriously, make a survival check to see if we would to see how well this is gonna turn out. <laughs> yeah. Can you make mine medium rare? These, uh... Do you think we can grill these goblins? <laughs> That's uh, the real it question. Is... Warg meat is very is is known for being a very unpleasant meat, but Kalani <laughs> somehow manages to make it taste good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will... What do you expect? I live in the desert. I use minor illusion to give Kalani a chef's hat. You have now been promoted. Uh, and I will say that because the warg tasted so good, uh, Kalani, you get a critical card. <laughs> so you get a bonus. So you can add a d6 to any roll. Awesome. <laughs> All because I wanted to know what Ward tasted like. <laughs> and I apparently and I apparently just and I apparently, I don't know, cooked a fairy into that or something. <laughs> maybe or maybe you used Goron spice or something. I don't know. No, oh yeah, no, probably. No, no, no. I definitely had some monster elixir on me. <laughs> either either uh, way. I'm or. just gonna let you know something real quick. <laughs> just, just, just because. Why not? Wargs are intelligent creatures. <laughs> <laughs> they have an intelligence score of seven. And they didn't speak, seem intelligent to me. <laughs> and can speak goblin, warg, and some can speak common. Hmm. Holy crap. <laughs> Kalani is like, hey. So we just unknowingly killed. ate sapient creatures. Yes. Get into a circle. It is still on the same two. That zombie's going to take the dash action to get across the road. It will make a deck save to see if it falls in the water. It falls in the water. We're still sailing, right? Yes, we are still sailing. Okay, so if they fall in the water, they're screwed. Yes, that zombie <laughs> fell in the water. Uh, this zombie is going to dash across the rope. Uh, let's see if it doesn't. If it falls in the water, it does not fall in the water. So five, six, seven, eight. Going to go up to Kalani. It is not going to attack. Who's talking in the background? Someone's talking in the background. Yeah, I can hear uh, talking uh, in the keep, background. Keep not here. Make a deck save. Fell in the water. Oh. You still hear it? Huh? Uh, deck save. Oh. See okay. Uh, yeah, I just closed the door. Yep. Fell in the water. Yep, and I can't hear it anymore, so. All right. We're good. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Make a deck save. Wow. All but. <laughs> All but one of the zombies fell in the water. 
And of course they went to me. Well, you're the biggest. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, the... Um... So, those zombies are <laughs> caught in the stream. Yes, they are going to be gone next turn. Uh, the, yeah. the snail is going to is going to yell at them. Useless piece of crap. Why do I even use you? <laughs> How could you all be so useless? <laughs> all right, Juno, your turn. <laughs> only half of you made it. <laughs> only one of them made it. Over. No, only half of the of the zombie team made it across the ship because three of them well, had yeah. to climb across. Yeah, but the, the three that that made it across before didn't have to make saves because they didn't dash across the ropes. <laughs> That's still only half the crew that made it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> almost worryingly uneventfully uh does anyone want to do anything fancy while you sail um I... oh do you want to do something i'll just say i, I could i could teach one of you plebs some rock. <laughs> <laughs> all right um you oh, say the vodka. to learn how to play caravan. <laughs> you said, I'm sorry, did you say Savak? Sabak. Sabak. Okay. I was Sabak. like, because that sounds hilariously similar to a, uh, to a, one of the Gerudo greetings. No, no, I'm just, just, you know. It's not Savak, Sabak. So you just assume yeah. he's greeting you at the moment. Yeah. You know, Star yeah. Wars poker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sabak is more blackjack. That's that's Pazak. <laughs> okay, I mean it's in the Knights of the Old Republic games completely. You, you'll experience it. Actually, life. no. Sabak is thirty-one. Is what Sabak is. Yeah. It's like Which... a mixture of poker and blackjack. Yeah. But yeah. Pazak is just straight up blackjack, only going to twenty instead of twenty-one. Okay. Um. So yeah. All right. Are you guys gonna do that? <laughs> That. I mean, I guess. <laughs> um, so everyone wants who wants to roll a wisdom check, just a straight wisdom check, or a you could roll a deception check if you want to try and cheat. Mm -hmm. Um, and <laughs> Varut can roll his wisdom check with proficiency. Okay. So wait, are we rolling something right now? Uh, either a wisdom check to play legitimately, or a or a deception check to cheat. Let me take a look here. All right. And I would like to know what all of you guys are doing in terms of what are you doing? Are you cheating or are you playing legitimately? Well, um. Wait. I have to figure out the game first okay. before I cheat. Are, are you playing with any stakes? Um, since this is a trading round, nah. Okay. I, have I have too much honor to put in. <laughs> I have too much honor to cheat. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be using an honor score next campaign, so in in that case, it probably would be an honor score, an honor check instead of a. <laughs> Yeah. Wisdom check. Oh yeah, that's right. It was slash roll. And then the D. I got an 18. Um, I, I'm just playing... D20, not D209. Because I have... To, because my character would have no idea what this is. Okay. Well, it makes sense that my wisdom's so low. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Kalani gets dealt a um gets immediately dealt what what's the what's the best hand spot called again? Oh what was that? Idiot's array or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Kalani gets immediately dealt an idiot's array. <laughs> so does that mean I just instantly win? Uh, uh the idiot's array is the best is the best possible hand in Sabak, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here out of play, and then two of them do like do better than I Yeah, yeah, you're like you're like ha, ha, I'm gonna. This is gonna be the easiest win in Sabak history. I, I lost to the person who doesn't know what toilet paper is. 
<laughs> Lonnie reveals, and it's just like, is this a good hand? Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's just like, son of a <laughs> and And like, it looks really bad, but you instinctively know that it's a good hand, because the idiot's array is, like, it's the lowest possible score, I think. But it's also, but it, but because of that, it's the best hand. It beats everything. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! But you know, you know, um, Griswold got a pure sabak, but but Kalani got an idiot to race, so she won. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I think that's hilarious. It's just the how well. I'm, I'm curious. How well did he? How well did uh? I forget your character's name, the Death Trooper. Varut. Uh, Varut did Varut. decently. He didn't get a pure sabak, but he didn't. He didn't okay. do terribly. Okay, I was kind of. And Juno that. just got really bad luck. <laughs> Honestly, I was kind of hoping that he, that the guy who was saying we're gonna teach these plebs how to play sabak, just gets riggedy wrecked. <laughs> That would be hilarious. It would have been. You're like, this is some beginner's luck. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, you're just like, this isn't beginner's luck. This is, this is veterans' bad luck. Hacks. I call hacks. Yeah. I call hacks. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because the person who wields an axe and nothing else looks like she could hack. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a physical card. Couldn't be hacked anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm looking at these strange symbols. Like, like, do these, does it, is this good? I think this is good. <laughs> and like, as your, as your jaw just drops. <laughs> just be like, you know, Mandalorian curse and be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. that, that is that is funny. Standing in the middle of a sort of gobsmack. Where's where's everybody else? I have no clue. Probably. I, okay, since we did just pop in in the middle of the square, you know what that means. I have to perform for money. All right, make a performance check. All right, Griswold go just goes ahead and gets out. You know what? One, but two hand puppets. You know what? After a bit, Kalani's just gonna leave, and then just sort of uh, just kind of sit near wherever Griswold is. Um, you get booed at actually a little bit, Griswold. <laughs> I guess I offended them. What are you going to do? Maybe. I'm just... Gonna attack two what are you... <laughs> We're going to try. Okay. All right, since when did this turn into an impromptu circus? All right. You get the information out of people, you all are out making a fool of yourself. Okay. So I just wrote performance? Yes. Oh, God. I'm bad at that. Yeah, yours isn't much better. <sighs> what are you two doing? I'm I'm gonna ask them. <laughs> we need money. I don't see you rolling in dough. So you're tr so you're trying to do a performance for money, and they seem to hate you. Griswold, how's your Griswold, how athletic are you? Um, pretty athletic. Why do you ask? Do you trust me? I trust you. All right, so grapple check on Griswold. Okay. <laughs> After seeing no one's in the bar of Vizru, walk out. Okay, so. We're in the starting a wrestling match. He's just going to sort of cross his arms. And that's that's athletics, it. right? Yep, athletics. Griswold, uh, make your Griswold, make your acrobatics check if you want to. I'm pretty good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you you just said you trusted me. 
I trust For all intents and purposes, I just kind of calmly grabbed you. Actually, since... Yeah. Yeah. Let's but, just... you know, this is to this is mostly for me to see oh, yeah. if I got a good grip on him. Yep. Okay, um, so. How, how much does Griswold weigh? Um, okay, let me check. Yeah. About, like, 120-ish pounds. All right, so you have a short range, Kalani, you have a short range of 40 feet and a long range of 180 feet. Well, I don't want to break Griswold's bones, so I'm going to, because I was going to throw him straight up in the air. Okay. <laughs> just basically, just, do you trust me? <laughs> yeah, it's just, do you trust me? And then you're just like, you're just like, yeah, I trust you. Grab, fling. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and make an attack roll. Go the <laughs> an attack roll? Yes, an attack is, roll. Is that just my Grand Axe attack? Yes, it's effectively you're attacking with your Grand Axe, because you are just throwing a creature. Yeah, I, I am throwing uh, And if you fail this, um, <laughs> then you're I not going to catch Griswold. <laughs> I might have thrown him too hard. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> I'm just sort of standing at the entrance to, to the tavern with my helmet on, sort of arms crossed, <laughs> just staring at this. So, I mean, as a Mandalorian, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, yes, that will do it. Um, so you throw Griswold up. Um, Griswold, do you want to do anything fancy or just... <laughs> or panic because the person who just you, who you just said trusted, <laughs> just trusted, just <laughs> just immediately betrayed that trust by throwing you in the air. <laughs> just boom. I wouldn't be a very good acrobat if I couldn't if I couldn't fall safely from this height. Um, can I in midair cast feather fall? Uh sure. All right. Okay. I mean, that's why Featherfall exists, isn't it? Yeah, that's all reason of Featherfall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, no you slowly float back down. Wait, can I make a performance roll to do some sort of mid-air yeah. somersault? Uh, actually, like if you're gonna do, action. like, mid-air acrobatics, do an acrobatics check. Alright. Yeah. Do some fancy moves in mid-air. <laughs> Rolling the dice. 19. All right. The some people around you cheer. Um and you will get <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and that's how you entertain an audience. They boo you off the stage, and then a massive armored warrior walks in and throws you 40 feet in the air. Uh you get 50 gold. Ooh, 50. Nice. <laughs> when he finally comes back down to the ground, I'm gonna walk up and be like, "Ladies, if you're done horsing around now, we got things to do. Let's go." I think I could make the argument that I'd know Bacoblin. Yeah. <laughs> so you um, you appear to be coming across some sort of camp. Um. There are, yeah. There, there's a there's a camp nearby. You can you can tell by just hearing it. There is a camp of goblins. Yes. More um, of those mini blends. Uh, as you get closer, you see. Um, I'm just going to tell you what they are, and I'm going to show yeah. you the map because I do have a map for this. You see oh. 25 goblins, 10 hobgoblins, uh, one hobgoblin, another hobgoblin who, who appears to be the leader, and a very big ogre. Um, um, are you going to try and sneak your way in, or are you just going to walk on into the camp? Well, I mean, this is this inside the village? Uh, the no, it, is, it is not inside the city. Well, then I don't see any reason to just not go... Uh, to go around. <laughs> to not go around or to go around? Yeah, I don't see anything, any reason to not go around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see any reason to, to to try to sneak through. I just see... 
I mean, these guys seem occupied. This seems like a crap load of enemies. <laughs> I do not want to begin to to begin to uh, speculate what the what that big dude's going to be able to do. Yeah. So I say we uh, we try to we try to shimmy our way uh, yeah. around the village. <laughs> If you're just going to go around the village, then you don't have to make a check. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. everyone agreeing yeah. in that? <laughs> yeah, we're going to look at that and go, no. <laughs> no. That, that, was, that was a fun encounter I had planned. <laughs> <laughs> breaking all of my plans in Faerun. I'm making my plans in Eberron more concrete. You're getting... <laughs> You get choo choo. Get on the freaking train, <laughs> John. I played all the tricks in Faerun. Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you dare think I'm some. I've been, I've been, I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons games with guys who've been playing it for at least twenty years longer than I have. They, they know. Some of that experience was rubbed off on me. <laughs> they are experts at breaking games. Here you are. I can't guarantee you'll live. All right. Uh, Goodbye, strange... Uh, man. There is a there is a large um large hairy guy standing right inside the door with his arms crossed. Uh, his ears are a little bit pointed, but not in like an elvish way. So is he like that bugbear that we saw like two worlds ago? Uh, he is not a bugbear. Oh, Come he is now. he is fairly human looking. All right. Um, he. He looks at you. What business do you have here? Ah, we were told that your boss likes entertainment, and so we have come to provide said entertainment. Um, so go ahead and make... <laughs> yeah, and I'm definitely honest? holding this I mean, I giant thing. I guess you're being honest. You are actually going to give him some entertainment. So no, go, no, no. Yeah, no, so totally. go ahead and make a persuasion check. <laughs> Persuasion. Looking this up. <laughs> I'll pull out my hollow projector playing a recording of what we did up in town okay. and be like, so go ahead and do that at advantage then. <laughs> Wait, right. I am I am the, the the logistics side of this motley crew. <laughs> Manager. Alright. <laughs> Just one simple word is all I use to describe Varut. Manager. Alright. <laughs> oh, uh, you one have advantage, me. so oh. go ahead and roll again. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Roll one D twenty. Actually, how important is this roll? Uh um, very. Okay. I'm gonna use my critical card for that. Alright, so add a D six to the roll. Okay, so a one. Okay, wait, 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 don't roll right just yet. Don't roll just yet. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So you want to play the critical card? So you drag that out of your um. You're gonna drag that critical right. card out of the out of your deck. Out of the box. There you go. All right. There we go. So one D eight plus five plus one D six. Eighteen. All right. Uh, the the big guy, the big guy snorts. Suppose the boss is always looking for some new sources of entertainment. <laughs> let's see if he's available. Follow me, and don't touch anything. <laughs> uh, and he starts. He, he says that, and I'm holding the e web. <laughs> Uh, he, moves, he moves off into the into the tunnels. In, in, well, not tunnels. He moves off into what appears to be a fairly spacious cavern. Wait, are we supposed to follow him? Or are we just... Yes, you are supposed to yeah, follow no, him. Yeah, no, we okay. follow him. All right. Yeah, we're following him. All right, you follow him through. You see a lot of different criminals around of all sorts of different races, including some very strange sights. 
a couple of ladies with wings, a guy with the head of a bull, the head of a bull, um, some things that look like uh, some <laughs> some wargs, um, tons, plenty of humans and other things like that as well. Ah, <laughs> um, and he takes we're, all, you, we're all looking at the wargs like, like, oh, those taste so good. Um, and he takes you to a to what appears to be like the main building in the in the cavern. Uh, he turns around, wait here, uh, and he steps inside the building. Um, after about a minute, he comes back out. The boss is available. Head on in and do whatever it is you do. Oh boy. Okay. Oh crap. <laughs> I've gotta be honest, guys. We 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 like spent this planning like after John left, and I I've gotta be honest, I spent this whole week thinking there is no way we are gonna get this far. <laughs> no way! I have the notes for my five act per puppet performance. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. So, um, All right, here we go. So, <laughs> uh, you step into the room. It's a very. It appears to be some sort of throne room. A sort of. I'm just going to describe him out of character, so because I don't know how to describe him in character. He looks like he's sort of French, with fairly pale, emaciated-looking skin. His eyes are yellow. Uh, he has pointed ears, and he carries a goblet of red wine. I think this man is a vampire. Um, he he looks out at you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, I definitely a vampire. I hear you have entertainment <laughs> for me. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, my yes. here would yes. like to demonstrate to you their magnanimous abilities to entertain and marvel <laughs> everyone they encounter. Well, I'd suggest you get to it then. I am not a patient man. Why don't you? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, Griswold, why don't you? Why don't you start while we get set up? Yes, uh, I'm going to step back out of the way and let them do their thing. I'm not. What the hell are we doing with Carl? All right, make I a, step uh, back into the shadow. So I'm going to have shadow. you make a stealth check. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, oh crap! I was supposed to figure this out. <laughs> Yeah, the rest of you need uh, to yeah, be... Yeah, you were. It's your pet. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, you need to make a stealth check. What's going on? Hey, write down. Lots of smaller balls. Write down. Right down. Uh, Barut, you need, on? Barut, you need to make a stealth check. Okay. Um, And someone else needs to make a performance check to know how distracting your, your uh, performance is. Okay, 27 okay. on the stealth check. Wow, okay then. I will... I I, I was planning on casting invisibility, but I guess I'm fine. Um, on the prelude. Oh, you want to cast invisibility? I was thinking about doing that. Sort of like a stealth field generator okay, on top of the You can do that stealth. if you want. I've, I assumed you were just going to stealth. Sorry. I'm go I, I'll stealth because that way yeah. it's it's more long term than invisibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, 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 exactly. Stealth on top of the invisibility. That means you're extra unnoticed. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I'll, okay, so I'll move away stealthily with that score of 27. That's yeah. beautiful stealth score I've ever gotten. Uh, there to, are other some... entrances to this building, by the way. You were able to see some others from where you were. In the... I press some buttons on my gauntlet, and I just flat out vanish. Okay. Um, so with... someone else needs to make a performance check to see how distracting your, your Plus thing eight. is. Um... Uh, uh, 11. Maybe I should play action. Oh, never mind. I can't do it. Okay. On 11. Um, so, oh, Baruch, you sneak past, you sneak into the, into the building. Um, okay. as the, as the show is going on. <laughs> and the, Perfect. the, um, the, the boss is, he's laughing a bit, but he's not really, like, 
He doesn't seem to be super like distracted by it, but he's super into it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Act one was the boring part anyway. Yeah, no, exactly. All right. Hey, so, Root, what are you doing here? I'm, after I've oh. snuck in, I'm going to you know, <laughs> see how how many people are around him. Are there any people you know, like surrounding him, guards and the like? Um, there are a couple of burly looking humanoids that appear to be guards. How close? Uh, about 15 feet each. Alright. Okay, before I commit to this, hypothetically, could I, like, sneakily go up behind one and just, you know, slit the throat and get it out of the way and into a dark corner where it won't be noticed? Hypothetically, but you're not a rogue, which makes things this a little true. difficult. This yeah, really, we should try to focus our, uh, try to focus your sneaky kill for the big man himself. So if you manage to sneak past those guys... Yeah, I'll just do that. And then I'll wait till... Better to cut the head off practice. and leave them confused while we kill them in their confusion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... I'm going to just... find a dark order and then just wait for a much more distracting part. All right. Okay. Now this gets into Act Two. So Act <laughs> One is the prophecy. As okay, we're, we're going to describe this kind of in detail. Um, the main actress, well, actress per se. Actually, hold up to better amplify this. Um, I'm going to cast Major Image to give like kind of a better image of what I am trying to do. Okay. So like for scene one. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Right. Act one. In Act one, um, it is stated by it is stated by a little the fortune teller that a certain man by the name of Cain will be What's slain that? by by a man by the name of Eldenish. Okay. <laughs> just, right. just off to the side, off to the side, me, uh, Kalani and Juno are just like, when the hell did she write this? <laughs> What time does she have? I want that. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to Act Two, um, right. in which Cain, uh, as stated before, has a fiery temper. Well, the the, the god of of war and chaos ha has decided to do something about this fool named Eldenish. And okay. so he seeks out, well, he seeks out two gods in particular, one by the name of Val, who carries with him, well, who carries with him the, the, crap, um, who carries with him the forge that can birth god-slaying swords. Okay. And so it is then tasked by... Well, it is then tasked by Vol to produce a hundred of these swords. And then Act 2... Th there's a bit of a musical part in the middle of Act 2. Um, and this is when Vol is producing the swords. Okay. So does that mean I gotta roll another performance uh, check yeah, on that one? Yeah, go ahead and roll another performance check. Okay. Can it be amplified by the major image in Yes, go ahead and Wait. do it at advantage. Okay, while he's doing that, yes. I got a question for you. Can I cast Arcane Weapon on one of my C25 grenades? Sure. Why not? Okay. Okay. You know, it'd just be better if you just had a thermal detonator and just blew him up. I don't have a thermal detonator. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I what, mean, that would have been overpowered. Those, those, things, those things kill. I believe you said... I'm gonna look at my notes... Uh, I did fire force. Uh, 2d8 fire. Okay. I'm just curious. Uh, yes, you can cast arcane weapon on those. All so right. this is very distracting. The uh, the boss seems to be very engrossed in the in the act. in the actual freaking movie you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I have some way of Doing a remote detonator on one of these, right? Yes. Okay. You're just... The... 
Okay. I mean, I was expecting Griswold to go a bit grandiose, but I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting actual home theater. All right. Okay. So, so what are you going to do? Behind, I sneak up behind his chair. Okay. And he's sitting down. Yes. I, I plant the grenade on the underside of his chair. Okay. Actually, so I'm going to move it to where it's like it's attached to the chair. Okay. When it detonates, there's not going to be anything sp- between the grenade and him. All right. So yes, it is. He he does not notice whatsoever. I'm going to sneak back. How? Leave the room. I. <laughs> I'm gonna detonate it. All right. Uh, everyone, roll initiative. Where are you going to oh like come in God. by the? Uh, oh uh, my I was not a kid for people. We didn't even get to the. We didn't even get to the acrobatics. Are you going to come in through the main entrance, for Um. Uh, yeah, I'll come. I'll detonate it outside the room. Yeah, but after that, you'll come in through the main entrance. Yeah. Please tell me that was sneak attack damage. Uh, I will roll damage here in just a minute. Please uh, how much damage does... Sneak attack damage. Okay, so normally it's 2d8, an arcane weapon adds 1d6, so I'm making it 1d6 fire. So it does 2d8 plus 1d6 fire. Okay. Alrighty. So the boss automatically fails his, his saving throw because he was not expecting it at all. Uh, so he's going to take critical damage. Uh, plus, like, wait, killer, man. Like, say, we the second the... This. Yeah. We can't wait for I mean, I'm just. I can't believe it worked. I mean, we <laughs> <laughs> this fucking word. Uh, everyone doesn't need to roll initiative, so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should probably roll that, shouldn't I? Yes, the boss oh, is still alive. Nine. <laughs> the boss is still alive. It hurt him, but he is still alive. How oh, did you take a grenade point blank? <laughs> Okay. He's to his butt, and he's still alive? Yes. Oh my god, oh, man. I hit point system. <laughs> so you can fuck it up. <laughs> uh, and Baruch, you still need to roll in it? I was oh, wondering yeah. what was gonna go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I did, it's a nine. Alright, let me transfer you over to the map here. Juno, you're up first. Oh, oh golly, okay. I guess I'll whip out my... Uh, the two guards immediately shift into their into their hybrid wolf forms. They are werewolves. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, All right, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> what exactly what goes wrong? The explosion. <laughs> I wonder how hurt he is. Uh, he's pretty hurt. He he's not looking good. All right, I'll take bloody at least. Yeah, at least bloody. Good, good. <laughs> Only because it's a hit point system did he survive. Yeah. A grenade point blank. Yeah. Well, that and his, and, well, he's not just a normal human. Yeah. All right, so what he's are you doing, Juno? Um, I am going to shoot guard two, I guess. Okay. Uh, go for it. Oh. Oh, I think I finally uh, got all those emails does not done. Hit, no. Okay, for my second action, I'm going to do the same. All right. Uh, you guys do get a surprise round, so yeah. Oh, uh, that sweet! So a round of yes of uh, absolute attack. Nice. Uh, yes, that will hit. So these guys are not shifted yet. They are like about to shift, but they're not shifted yet. Just... Awesome. <laughs> And, All right. and then Coral, and then Coral is Hannah. Coral. Coral. Good job. It's probably for the best that that we did it this time because we because Maddie and I still hadn't figured out exactly what we wanted Carl to do. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. What's the good side? Hey. Okay. I'll just get you. 
Wait, I think I could do so. No. Okay. That's Carl's all Carl can do. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Alright, Griswold, you're up. My art is not respected. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go and, um, are they wearing anything metal, by the way? Um, the guards are wearing some metal armor. The boss is not. All right. Um. So I, heat metal. I, I yeah. Well, heat metal. But but I am going to perform it like that. I'm still trying to full perform this performance and and be like. And then Cain said those words. Oh, Feel the fire stoked by hatred. All right. Which one are you targeting? That's the heat metal. Um. The one on the left. All right. So it can take. It just takes damage if it's wearing the armor, right? Yep. All right, roll the damage. All right. I'm trying to remember how much. Yeah, it's 2d8 fire when you cast a spell. You can use a bonus action. Each of your subsequent turns causes damage again. Um. Right. So, nope. Roll 2d8 fire. Any mods added or not any mods added? And they have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks to start your next turn if you don't drop the item. So it's armor, so you can't technically drop it. Takes 2d8. Maybe I should have upcasted it, but uh too late now. Okay. Um where is wait. Here we go. Alright, so yeah, roll 2d8. Twelve right. points of fire damage. Alright, anything else? Um uh oh bonus action uh continue performance. All right. Oh, All right, Vroot, you're up. Okay, I'm going to sneak into the room. Yeah, you are still hidden, so. Do, do, do. Do, and then. Do, do, do. <laughs> wait, wait. If you're still hidden, can you sneak attack, stab him? Uh, you, uh -huh. he doesn't have sneak attack. He's not a rogue. Not a rogue. That's what I'm doing. Uh, okay. I'm using my performance to make it look like that anyone who's outside of the room still thinks that this is a performance. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull a device in my belt that out of character it looks like the price my bombs dropped my slave one in episode two. Okay. Only a smaller version. Okay. I'm just gonna check that to the other side of the room right. to right right where the boss is. Alright, that will uh, that will unhide you. So what yeah. he, what does he need to do? Shatter. So shatter Con save, uh, yes. Uh, okay. Jeez, this is a long freaking stat block. Uh, he passes. Okay, so he takes. If it's higher than 15, which he said pass, so I assume higher than 15. Takes three, half of 3d8 thunder damage. So oh, 7 thunder damage. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, each creature in a 10-foot radius must make the constitution saving uh, throw. The other cre the guards aren't within 10 feet. Yep. Look at- look at that spacing. Alright. Alright, and you are unhidden by throwing a grenade. Uh, anything else? Um... You know what? Bonus action, I'm going to cast Arcane Weapon on my blaster. Alright. Dealing the lightning. So I'm gonna uh, flavor that as an ion attachment. Alright. Uh, Kalani, your turn. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna assume the E-Web is just, like, sitting here deactivating it on the ground. Well, yeah, it's sitting next to me, yeah. Because I put it down. I was gonna do something with it, but... Uh, yeah, that's we were not... supposed to set it up, but we didn't have time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, did Vroot didn't turn it on or show me how it worked, did he? I showed you how to, but I think mechanically I need to activate it or something. Yeah, you, you need to activate it. And then from Artillerist. Yes. Okay, well, well, uh, well, I've, I've got a good old trusty reliable dagger that I stole. <laughs> That's not mine. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to have to be my turn for now, because 
I'm going to want to wait for them to reach me because if I were to try to get over there, I'd have to do, use breakaway armor to do it. And I don't want to do that All right. for this honor. All right. So would that just be my uh, regular attack roll? Yep. Don't you just throw the uh, dagger? What are you throwing the dagger at? I'm throwing at guard one, the one that's immediately in the front thing of is, me. Because a dagger is a thrown weapon, it uses the stats for a dagger. So, oh, okay. So let's range. For, it's 20 60 for a dagger. So yeah, this, this attack will be at disadvantage. Yeah, okay. All right, who are you throwing at it again? Uh, guard one. Uh, remind me again, what's its, uh, what's its uh, attack bonus? or uh, Plus your strength modifier and your proficiency bonus. Oh. Yeah, so, so it's a finesse weapon, so it's strength or dex. Yeah, that's oh, well, that's be actually pretty good. That's that's what I have a bonus in. Um, <laughs> and then it's a twenty sixty range, so you're at long range. Yeah, disadvantage on the attack roll. Damn it! <laughs> All right, we look at that. I get a critical card. Yeah, and I missed entirely. Oh, yes, you did. Day. Screw it. If this goes worse, I'm just going to bash him with the E web. <laughs> I'm just going to use the E web like a club. <laughs> Until I activate it, you know. Okay, so I got a card that is literally useless for me, so. Awesome! Fortuna well, Circumstance totally doesn't, do anything for the, doesn't do anything for the DM. That's awesome. All right, Juno, your turn. Shitty, shitty. The same guy again. All right. Alrighty. Okay. Pretty sure that hits. Yep. Okay. Oh crap. Okay. Then I'm just gonna do the same. Okay. My second. Alrighty, that hits again. Yep, that definitely hits again. Uh, yeah, double the dice. Double Maddie the has critical three card. critical cards now. Holy crap! <laughs> you should hey. probably use a couple of those. I actually, right, sorry, what about Speaking me? of which, I should probably use mine if I remember what the heck it does. Uh, it is a bonus, so you can add a d6 to one roll. That yeah. wouldn't have helped in the last one. <laughs> Alright, no, he is this. almost dead. Alrighty, and then Carl is going to use charge. Alright. And come on to him. <laughs> and then, multi attack. Go, Carl. Go for the jugular. <laughs> Go for the jugular. <laughs> Rip his freaking throat out, Carl. Just fucking off him. Rip his throat out. I don't, hey, I don't want you to stop. You know? I guess that hits. <laughs> I don't want to. Well, you just pulled an arm. <laughs> Carl, I don't want you to stop till you're. Tell you his intestines are hanging from your fangs. All right, so Carl molds this werewolf and he falls dead. Yeah. He did not get to do a single thing. <laughs> I just picture him screaming hey, as he what just tries to. Was one of the guards. He's just, just transforming. <laughs> He's just transforming, screaming as the. Freaking bear! <laughs> hey, who wins in a fight between a bear wolf, uh, between a werewolf and a and a bear? The, the bear, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the genetically advanced bear. So. The so radio bear. Was, yeah, yeah. So, so who do you think? I think they have the low morale right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I mean, they have blown up the grenade. There was, a, there was a seismic bomb that went off in their ears. And then their werewolf friend just got, sh got just destroyed. All right, by... it is now the turn of the boss. Oh, I thought we were still on surprise round. No, oh, no, 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 it was it. Juno's oh, turn. Yeah. That, means we're, that means our surprise round's over. She went first. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, so what's the boss going to do? This is going way better than I thought it would. The whole time I was thinking, what what's gonna go wrong? What's going to go wrong? 
<laughs> because every time we've tried to pull something this crazy, something went wrong. Save for the bag of holding trick. Bag of holding trick went, went. Bag of holding trick was really anticlimactic, actually. <laughs> All right, he is going to move up to Carl. A baby. And he is going to make an unarmed strike. Yeah, that's a critical hit. Um, Baby. So Carl is grappled by uh, by him. By boss man. Uh, and then he's going to bite him. Oh. Oh, he's vamp. Yes, he is a vampire. He is a vampire. <laughs> he is a vamp. Okay. I mean, granted, um, I don't... What's Carl's AC? Carl's AC is 12. All right, he hits. Oh, wow, no. you know, <laughs> you know that's you know this actually weirdly makes sense. I think I don't know anything about Warhammer, but I think that Juno would actually be the only one who would have any idea what a vampire is. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so, I mean, because uh, because for Halloween, so yeah, yeah. So well, uh, Carl, not just not just that, but but uh, but uh, Car but the book Carmilla and subsequently Dracula would both. Be books that were out yeah. at least by the time okay, you were so, around. So, um, so Carl takes nine piercing damage. Uh, he also takes seven necrotic damage, and his hit points, are, his maximum hit points, are reduced by seven temporarily. It'll it'll go back to normal when he finishes a long rest. All right, Griswold, your turn. All right. Okay, so, um, all right, my heat metal is still on oh, the yeah. first guy, right? Yep, yep. Okay, so my bonus action will be that, and, and then, basically, um, uh, my, my main action will once again, uh, be, be kind of be used to distract any of the other things, because I'm pretty sure we're loud, but I'm gonna make my performance louder by using minor illusion all right and, so, and basically yeah. like no like, one suspects like a freaking this... thing going off with with a three-part chorus all right so uh, roll the damage for heat metal I'm I'm sorry. I just pictured the one winged angel from Final Fantasy VII. Sephiroth. Oh my gosh! <laughs> His name is Sephiroth. Yeah, yeah, but the song. The song? Is... Yeah, the song. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the song is called One Winged Angel. Oh, it's yeah. more specifically just... known as the first video game song to have vocals. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a fun fact about it. All <laughs> it right, had an actual Baruch, choir in it. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna shoot him with my shoot two. blaster, but shoot, shoot I'm gonna two. Shoot two. Uh, the boss. Shoot. Oh, the boss? boss? Yes. Okay. So go ahead and roll damage. That's an automatic hit and an automatic critical hit. So, so that is 2d10 plus 6. That's 23 uh, radiant you damage. To roll the damage for your. Um... Oh, yes. Plus slash slash r. Well, vampires are not vulnerable to radiant damage, but they should be, so I'm going to have that do a lot more damage. 2d6. Really? <laughs> he is wow. just barely alive. Snake eyes. <laughs> like, literally, he is alive by two health right now. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> How far so away is he? The bonus action. How far away is he from you? Yeah. Forty feet. Crap! I wouldn't even be able to make that with, with uh, with breakaway. I have yeah. a stake. So. Wait. I have a stake. So, so I'm not in the bonus action. Two, a... So like. Go for the oh kill. My gosh. <laughs> All right, let the guard. Let the guard. Oh wait, no, Root. Are you doing anything else? Um. No. Wait, since the e-web's already physically deployed, yes. could an argument be made to just activate it with a bonus action? Sure. Okay, I turn it on. Okay, the e -web is now on. Can I do anything with the e-web? Um, no. Suck it at him? Because it is technically <laughs> something that, that Baruch used. It technically right. isn't actually a 
Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay, one. rules wise, it's not a turret that I can use. Got it. Yes, it is guard one's <laughs> turn now. Wow, these guys actually aren't that fast. They only have. All right, he is going to move up to here to try to get Kalani. How big um, is he? He is smaller than you. Good to know. Um, yeah, he's not going to do anything else Kalani. because he can't. <laughs> Good Kalani, to know. Your turn. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go up to this guy. And uh, I'm going to grapple check. All right. <laughs> Rick. I forgot. I forgot what the grapple check was. Uh, it's athletics. So, what? It's athletics. Oh yeah. Welcome to the space jam. I'm gonna throw this <laughs> werewolf into orbit. Uh, no, he's not going to throw him into orbit. I know exactly what he's going to do with him. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed. Uh, yeah, you successfully <laughs> grapple him. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, so the range is 35 boss, feet on man? that, so that is uh, an attack roll at disadvantage if you want to hit the boss. Alright. <clears throat> All I right. mean, you can and still that's just totally the same as my others boss. I've been doing, right? I mean, you could totally move. Like... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You just grab it and just run up and then throw it. <laughs> yeah, but... I mean, I made the movement action, though. No, you didn't. You can you you can split up your movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I so oh yeah. Like so this, I walked up, I grabbed this dude, there. and then I'm and, and then I'm right gonna there. walk close. Yeah, and then I'll walk closer to the boss. Yeah, I'll go right there. With right. Uh, and the guard with is guard right there. One so in tow. Uh, make an attack <laughs> roll against the boss. <laughs> yeah, no. I can I just say it's funny to just picture Kalani walk up and just. <laughs> <laughs> Werewolf by the scruff of its neck and just start dragging him along. As a football, and you're going in for the end zone. All right, make your attack roll. Okay, so it's is that is it still at disadvantage? Uh, no, it is not still at disadvantage because you are within ten feet of him. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. So yes, uh, yes, yeah. So, uh, so I threw that him, but a... by the way, it's important. I throw the werewolf as if I were trying to throw him maximum two hundred feet. All right, so that is a medium creature. Jeez. So it yeah. will deal four d six bludgeoning damage. Okay, I'll go ahead and get a little uh, chart thing. Roll four d six. Roll four d six. Okay. Uh, slash roll. This only matters oh, to how much I'm damage shaking. the guard I'm too takes. happy. <laughs> the boss is dead. Like, I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna even try. Okay. Well, he has two health! What's he gonna do? Alright, yeah, you, the, the boss gets creamed and the werewolf smashes into the wall. He wasn't worthy of my blade. <laughs> he attacked a bear. All right, Juno. He attacked my bear specifically. <laughs> yeah. Juno, your turn. <laughs> Wait, why is combat still on? Uh, oh, because the guard is still alive. alive. Okay. Because the guard is He's in the wall. Wait, he's alive. He's you alive. smashed him into the wall. Yes, he is. He is not feeling good, but he is alive. <laughs> is he stuck or no? He just is slumped against the wall. You didn't even damage the wall. Oh, so he's prone. Yeah, he is prone. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing, Maddie? Okay, yeah, one second. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> okay, I. <laughs> you want Carl to beat the crap out of him too? I'm going to go over here. Okay. Kiss Carl on the head. That's my both my actions. And then Carl is going to come up. <laughs> and. Good yeah. girl, Carl. Boy, <laughs> still not sure. How dare that vampire? How dare that vampire hurt our fluffy girl? And Boy, just thing. Small the guy. All right, go for it. <laughs> So, at advantage, because he is prone. (laughs) 
Uh, I guess that'll hit, so go ahead and roll damage. Oh, that's still so that's Okay, all right. Yeah, cool. that one doesn't matter there because I was, I was not expecting it to go this well. I mean, <laughs> the boss definitely wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> no, oh, oh. I mean I blew him up with a grenade. Did I just? Oh, did I just, just oh, wow! Thanks, Carl. All right, second attack. <laughs> oh, okay. I just imagine Carl, the first the, when the when the vampire bit Carl, he just turned and saw Kalani dragging his werewolf towards him and <laughs> just wing it at him. Uh, yep, I shot it. Right. Uh, you didn't roll to hit, but I'm not even gonna make you roll to hit because it's. All right, uh, Griswold, your turn. All right. <laughs> Uh, heat metal is still on this guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, heat metal is still on him, and um, so yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll use. Okay, I'll, I, 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 will uh, I feel bad for this guard. Add in a triumphant um, uh, sort of narration, <laughs> and as Cain brought down his blade, Eldenesh <laughs> could fear, well, well, could feel the fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so rolling to the oh eight. My God. So Fourteen points of fire damage. He just uh, barely holds on. Uh, <laughs> he is lying on the ground. His like his guts are hanging out. He has several broken bones. His skin and Carl's fur are seared. I, just... I am. I feel so bad for this guard. He was just like, he was just like, oh, what a normal day. The boss exploded. Time to kill these intruders. Wait, what's this knight doing? Why am I being dragged over here? <laughs> boss, no. So he is. He has one health currently. Wow. Okay. So who mercy. wants to go in for the mercy kill? Varut, it's your turn. <laughs> I am. We actually here a turns around. It's great, Adam. Because this guy's the leader and all. Okay, here we go. Pew pew. Yep. He's dead. <laughs> all right. Yep. <laughs> all right, Varut, and Varut takes it home with a mercy kill. <laughs> Hey, I didn't civilize when I killed them. <laughs> um, so they won't. It, I just can't even. I'm trying to imagine the forensics guys coming in here, looking at the vampire lord, going, going. You know, it's the weirdest thing. It looks like a large fuzzy object was used to bludgeon him to death, <laughs> <laughs> but there was only one blow. <laughs> I've done this. <laughs> All right, so combat is now over. To get killed by being bludgeoned with a werewolf. As you get closer to the cave, this should be fun. You hear a roar. And... Oh, boy. oh no, run. run. Guys, run. We need to run. We need to run now. A <laughs> horned lizard is standing on his back no. feet. Comes <laughs> no, barely no. Run, 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 run. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go now. Okay, oh, I shout. <laughs> I shout the first thing that comes to mind. Right up, folks. <laughs> You ever, so you'll be like, why didn't you mention you had great dragons on this planet? Oh, wow. I mentioned Death Claws. I was, I mentioned Death Claws on the first time we met. We need to go now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We you mentioned go. Death Claws when we were all talking about how we ended up there. The last thing we remember. And you yeah, mentioned Death the Death Claw. You didn't go into detail. You just said Death Claw. Well, Death Claw. Yeah, it's a Death Claw. It has its death and its claws. It has claws. Yeah. Yeah. You guys around. just heard me shout Dinophos. Like, that's supposed to make sense. Oh, no, we're dead. <laughs> like, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how dead are we? 10. No, 100. 1,000. Right, what's everybody what else? Is this thing? Those are risks I'm willing to take. 
As long as you guys stay in front. Everyone needs to roll initiative. Let's let's go here. I can't book it. <laughs> yeah, even if you plan to run away, Juno, you gotta make the roll. Oh. I don't wanna die. It's okay, we'll just end up back in Jacob's town. But that's the Cazadors. I don't want Charles to the Cazadors again. Oh, after the Cazadors, when we end the town. Oh, well, that's better. Wow, you guys all hold like crap. I'm going to put Varud ahead of Griswold so Griswold's not in the lead again. Uh, Varud, you're, <laughs> you're up first. I... Okay, I'm going to hmm, gonna move aside. Okay. Wait. What's I'm going to put my <laughs> cannon in front of me. Okay. Then my cannon is going to fire. All right. Make your attack roll. I know I don't know what's I love you that, that you knew exactly what was coming out as soon as I as soon as I started talking, Maddie. I figured we were going to run into one eventually. Dude, I have like PTSD from playing and just hearing that roar. <laughs> All right. So yes, you you hit. <laughs> I didn't even know that Deathclaws roared. I was just improving that. I've never Get encountered a Deathclaw playing Fallout. <clears throat> Three quarters in damage. Right? That is 12 force. All right. Uh, it's action and bonus. Yep. Yep. How big is a Deathclaw? Huge. Okay, uh, let me well, pull up a Well, it's a large a creature, as you can see. Yeah, I know, but I want to see how tall it is. Yeah, one sec. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, their their average height is just like one foot taller than me. All right, Griswold, your turn. I then. Flying. Well, um, we're gonna do the same thing that we always do, and I'm gonna cast a guiding bolt on that their death claw. All right. This time, that's my little keep it up from someone. See death claws with the donkers. See, so yeah, now you know why the why the scouting party is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'll hit. This is terrifying. What did death claws used to be? They're like lizards or something. Oh, yeah, but like what kind of lizard? Uh, let me look. All right. Jackson's chameleon. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> in fact, yeah, there are even chameleon death claws in New Vegas, aren't there? What in God's name? Yeah. <laughs> that is a huge jump, my ma my man. <laughs> I'm looking at a picture Anything of what a Jackson else? chameleon looks like. That is Anything else that is a far cry from a death claw, my boy. I um Hmm. I'm gonna move over there. All right. I'm gonna call it good. Uh, so it's the death boss turn now. It's going to move up and it's going to attack Kalani. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, a 14 does not hit. So no, it does not. Uh, so now it's going to attack you with. Wow. Its... Now it's going to try to bite you. <laughs> uh, that's, a 20... <laughs> that's a 25 to hit. All right. Yeah, you're, you're right. That is a very, very big difference between a Jackson's chameleon and a death claw. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to point out the actual devil horns those things have, and the, and the fact that the Jackson's chameleon just has protrusions. All right, you take. I mean, yeah, there's still horns, take, but they're. Yeah. You take they're straight, not you no know, like curving around and swirly and everything. You take eleven piercing damage, Kalani. Oh, 11. Nice. And then it's going to swipe right. its claws once at the UF. It's All right. What's the UF's AC? 18. Alright, it's going to miss. And then, twice, <clears throat> and then a second time at the UF, it's going to hit. Okay. And it's going to deal 9, nine, nine slashing damage to the UF. Okay, one second. You are Here. lucky that you... Um, that you that that first attack missed by the way Kalani otherwise you would have gotten knocked prone and it would have gotten to make an additional bite attack so uh, you said 9 against 9 damage yes okay all right 
Juno, your turn. Juno. Gonna move over here. Or do I steer right here? No, I'm just gonna scooch. No, I'll, I'll stay right there. And then I'm just gonna shoot at him. All right. Uh, yes, that will hit, just barely. Uh, do keep in mind, by the way, you guys can play critical cards on other people. It doesn't have to be on you. Oh. I don't have any more critical cards. I used my one. <laughs> I think he's. I think he said that specifically for Maddie. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm because just, I have, I'm just hoarding three of them. Yeah, and yeah, the failure are. cards are meant for like, oh, that thing made a really big attack, so we need to make sure it, that thing's about to make one heck of an attack. We need to make okay. sure it doesn't hit or something like that. Yeah. All right, Juno. Uh, that okay. That does some damage. What would you like to do? Shine I'm out. gonna shoot him again. All right. Nope. Okay, can I use my a critical card for that? Uh, yes, no? you can. Uh, you could yeah. apply a bonus or advantage to mm. that one. Uh, let's go with a bonus, I guess. All right, add a, um, add a d6 to the roll then. All right, you hit. Uh, so yes. You'll, so you'll have to you drag the bonus card out of your little deck thing. There you go. Kito key. Alrighty. And then roll. <coughs> Plus three. Alrighty. Alrighty. And then Carl is gonna come up and multi-attack. <laughs> nope. Next attack. Please, Carl. Coral. Oh, thank God. Uh, roll that again at disadvantage. Oh, okay. Well, just roll it again and you have to take the lower roll. Alright, Carl's second attack does not hit. Oh, Coral. Uh, you know, I actually looked it up, and it's actually really funny how to, how death claws actually look pretty similar to a dinophos. <laughs> All right, Kalani, your turn. The only, the only thing that's really different is that death claws have horns. <laughs> Anyways, here. I don't see a reason to grab, so I'm gonna do some straight up. Beaten <laughs> with my axe specifically. All right. All right. Mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. So you missed All right. <clears throat> so yeah. Um. Screw it. It screw it. Uh, bonus action couldn't be worse. You're going to grapple it? Couldn't be worse. All right. <laughs> Bonus action. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it fails, so you grapple it. <laughs> swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Grab. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's your turn, Baruch. Okay, so first I'm gonna have E Web move back. Alright, the Death Claw is going to make an opportunity attack against it. Oh good, it has Sentinel. It does not have Sentinel, but the E Web moved out of its reach. So yeah. it can beat the crap out of it. I'll just go and it's grappled, maybe I can make this with less chance of getting attacked. Okay, it'll make it a disadvantage. Uh yes, it misses. Hold on. <laughs> is going, it's being held by Colin. Okay, and then it's going to fire. No, I'll switch it. <laughs> I'll make damn sure it doesn't attack anyone else. Yep, that'll hit. 
Okay. Oh, wait, wait, we didn't. Uh, it took the plus five, right? Oh, yeah, it takes five damage because you grappled it. Yeah, yeah, no, I was not being kind grabbing yeah, the <laughs> grabbing this thing. And it takes five force, and then... No, I don't, why don't you just hug a death claw? I'm sure it needs <laughs> moral support. Yeah. And, then, I, I and that's first. how Kalani tamed a death claw. Um, much to uh, everyone in Fallout's master. confusion. <laughs> and it's like burst fire, so I'm casting I Scorching can... Ray. Okay. Tame a... Yeah, why? I could definitely tame a death claw. Maybe. I guess okay. you can try. One, two, I can try, yeah. I'll do the three. <laughs> Alright, two of those hit. Okay. <laughs> I'm grappling. It's Might as well try. Fire mode. <laughs> 2d6 fire per each. Okay. So I'm not gonna lie, if we're walking around with a freaking death claw. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> nice. Go on, Juno, give it the smolder. <laughs> All right, uh, Griswold, your turn. Hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh... Oh, my goodness, dude. It's grappled, right? So it's staying in the same place. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's it's got grappled by me. I mean, it might break the right. grapple, but... but yeah. <laughs> I would wager on it. <laughs> All right. Um, now let's just cast cutting. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <I> <laughs> Anything else? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything else for you? Nope. All right. Deathclaw's turn. It is going to try to break out of your grapple in place of its door attack. So make an athletics check. Oh. Maintain your grapple. All right. You maintain your grapple, so it's not able to get out. So it's going to. Just, <laughs> it's just going to bite you now. <laughs> of course. Uh, that's that's a twenty six to hit. So. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that is ten piercing from the bite attack, and then it's going to swing its claws at you twice. Uh, that's a 24 to hit and a 12 to hit. So only one of those hits. Mm -hmm. So from the one claw that does hit, you take 13 slashing. Ugh, that's not good. <laughs> All right, Juno, if you want to try and tame this thing, you're going to have to make an animal thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm doing that. All right, make an animal handling check. I'm proficient in it. All right, I could do this. This is either going to be uh, you go do well, have an advantage or I'm going to die. I I do. So I'll use use that. the advantage card. Use it. Yeah. Use it. I'm going to. Jeez. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Hey. Do I need to use the advantage card now or no? Uh, you can use the advantage card after you see the roll, so... Uh, you... What exactly do you do? Give it the smolder. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, gee, what am I gonna do? <laughs> oh. I'm gonna. Uh, oh, geez. Sun's getting real I'm, low. Sun's getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just like, screw you up here and be like, hey, hey, it's okay. It's all right. Everything's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. It's going to be okay. We're not gonna hurt you. We're gonna get killed the shit out of by you. <laughs> Um, it's going to make an insight check to resist. <laughs> it's not particularly good at these, but it's... I'm going to lean over to Kalani he's like, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it, it fails its insight check, and it... Oh, it, it I'm, really, its, I'm like, I won't let it kill you, you're not going to It, like, was in... No, it was like, it had just, like, raked its claws across Kalani. 
and then yeah. it, and it, it, it's and it just with blows, loud sounds as it hit my armor. Yeah, and it just <laughs> lowers its head and and bows its head towards you. Oh, good JP, and I'm just gonna like <laughs> pat its head. <laughs> <laughs> You're taming it while I'm sitting there, like trying not to get eaten. <laughs> I'm terrified of it too, so I'm like, hey, like, I'm yeah. far away. I'm not the one. You're not the one immediately. <laughs> All right, so, um, uh, I'm going to have some more complicated rules for your relationship with this death pop. <laughs> but are you serious we actually tamed it yes you did I <laughs> so we actually managed to make your way out of the yeah make our way out of the con center, and you return back to the street yeah we get back alley- to the street there's an alleyway right next to where you first appeared it is getting pretty late. So it just Let's head over to now. that. Let's head over next to that crack addict. Um, right, you, you walk I'll never the, believe this. You walk into the alleyway, and you hear footsteps behind you as you as you step in. I whip out. Look, the, to, the, look to the look to the foot and look over. Uh, Put three, that down. No. Three burly men approach you, carrying pistols. All right, let's go. Uh, and they, they look, they, they come towards you. We saw you got that diamond from the from the contest. I'm loading a video. I'm gonna, be giving us I'm gonna that approach. <laughs> I'm gonna burst out laughing. I'm just like, you're using slug throwers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack my, I'm gonna walk up to them, and... Carl, are you you'll hungry? You'll be given to the, given us, given that to us, or you'll be dying. And why would I do that? I just told you, because if you don't, you'll be dying. <laughs> Kalani, All right, Kalani, there. can I do something? <laughs> Kalani, 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 hey, Kalani, Kalani, Kalani. Can no, you are not using that item in a civilian populated area. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, <no. laughs> what about Carl? Can Carl do something? Please, 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 please. I just ignore you. If Carl is good for staff and ignite. If Carl, yeah, no, no. <laughs> if Carl, the, the, if the Carl is going to be a good boy, girl, <laughs> look at Carl. Hey, Still not sure. Carl has been eating all day. Can Carl eat? <laughs> Oh, I Carl think has so. The munchies. <laughs> while she, while, while this conversation's going on, I'm just going to yeah. pull out my electro staff, activate it, and jab it into one of the. Into yeah, one I was the, gonna. I was actually gonna walk up, like almost as if I was gonna grab, give them the diamond. But then I'm just gonna grapple them. <laughs> uh, make it, just make an intimidation check. Oh no! Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I should just uh, go do ahead that. and make a strength intimidation check. So strength, if you're proficient with intimidation, are you? I am proficient with intimidation. So your strength modifier and your proficiency bonus. Because you're using your physical might to be intimidating. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were approached. So that would that would that would actually just just be what it would be for me to attack. Funnily enough. Pretty much, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm so just... you grab a hold of the one guy. And yeah, the others I pick him just, up like he weighs nothing. The others just look straight up at you, terrified, and book it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> run off so screaming. I'm ah! Take the man's wallet. Call your soldiers. The 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 guy like struggles and he he raises his gu- his pistol towards you. I grab the gun and I tear it out of his hand. I'm All right, have Carl. Okay. I wonder if I have the strength necessary to just crush it. Uh, make an athletics check. If not, I'll just if not, I'll just toss it away. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, like uh, athletics. Strength. Carl, go after the other two. I might have been rolling my grapples wrong. Oh well.
Yeah, you crush the barrel <laughs> okay, so... and then drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I grip the gun out of his hand, crush it before his eyes, <laughs> drop it. He just looks at you with just absolute terror in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, as my, as my eyes glow in amber through the helmet. <laughs> and, I'm just, and I'm just like, your friends were wise. <laughs> You t if you think, if you thought you could just take things from random people, you are sorely mistaken. And I, and I smash him against the wall and then throw right. him out the alleyway. All right, he is dead. Yeah, all right. Lonnie has a very specific <laughs> hatred towards thieves. Yes. Can Carl still go after the other two? I mean, I guess he can. They went in different yeah, directions. Alrighty. They did go in different directions. Okay, Carl will just go after <laughs> Alright, uh, he chases him down, pounces on him, and it's just does whatever he does. Oh, I'm, friends, like, you know. I'm just gonna be like, I you know, Carl, good baby. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> those poor guys didn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs>
right through. So it's and, probably and... around a me tall. <laughs> probably around that tall. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. I can't seem to find any information on how big they are for some reason. Like how how big yeah, they're... their <laughs> their uh, volume size of or their uh, their um, dimensions. Yeah. Um, I can find their height, which is a lot, but it's twenty four feet. But um. Thirty oh, well. feet tall, twenty five tons. Yeah. Uh, All right, the Vikings. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to move up to Douglas, and he is going to attack. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to hit. Deal some damage. Then Viking number two. One, two, three, four, five, six. The light. And then the giant's turn. One, two. What is his movement speed? Three, four, five. Oh, he went over the fire. Six. It's not actually lit. Seven. Oh, okay. Eight. I was kind of hoping he just kind of. <laughs> he just kind of warmed his groin while walking over it. He's just stride it immediately the, over the, the fire. It's going to move to there. And then it's the Viking chief. Um, he's going to squeeze through there. Two, three, four, five. All right, Griswold, your turn. I, <clears throat> oh, you see, that's definitely not a Henox. Too many eyes. <laughs> uh, it's a frost giant. That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> that's wrong. None Five, of us ten. know what that is. I'm aware. 15. I'm just telling you that's... in like in character, I know. So you know what it looks like. I know, like. John. John, expect uh, I mean, expect me to respond like that a lot because that's just the running joke of the game. We know what it is, but our characters don't. <laughs> You're gonna be like, what am I? <laughs> It's it's fun. We we all know carrot monsters that might be similar, but none of us know exactly what the hell is going on. Yep. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. This mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, screen. Okay. All right. Well. Gonna... I'm gonna cast um. Uh, you guys think you can kill the Viking? People, the, the the small guys very fast. Or am I gonna have to do something? Uh. Yeah, I'll uh, just go hit the giant. Uh, this is, once again, guiding bolt. Let's see if I make that psych mastery test. Nat twenty. Nice. Uh, what are you doing exactly? Again. I am casting Guiding, uh, Bolt? Guiding Bolt at second level. On who? On the giant. Okay. All that right. obviously hits, and you get a critical card. I'm curious. Is it possible for uh, for uh, Douglas to hold his uh, movement action? Yeah. You can hold your movement. Why? Okay. Because I'm, I'm just... Because, you know, with how close together everyone is yeah uh how everyone over there is in fireball formation i i'm really hoping i'm able to you know tell douglas to to cheese it before i throw this do you want me to carry douglas i don't think i can carry douglas but (laughs) can griswold carry a douglas Douglas. (laughs) all right so it's double dice right yes double dice Okay, so that's 10 D6. Dang. Wow. 33 points of damage. Yep. Radiant, specifically. Yep. And um, next attack on it has advantage, yep. in which I will use that set attack right now with a gun. And he does not like you. Who doesn't? <laughs> you Die. pissed off the giant, didn't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh gosh! Not a brilliant idea. Give Kalani range rifle. I'm here with the cannon and the blast rifle, and I'm just handing various explosive munitions to Kalani to go over there. All right. If we do this right, if we do this right, if we do this right, maybe I could, maybe I could have it swallow. 
<laughs> Swallow the thermal <laughs> detonator. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, gonna roll damage. I'm assuming it's 25 hits. Yeah, 25 hits, obviously. All right. 13 points of slashing damage. All right. He lets and out now, a bellow. And now time to duck and cover. Um, duck and cover. So I probably used 30 feet, so I have 90 feet left. So oh, five, dear goodness. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45. Now, Chris Walt, remember to duck and cover. <laughs> Is that all you're moving? Don't worry. I got you. Got that. Uh, th that's all I'm going to do. Yes. War commercial. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Kalani, it's your turn. Oh, I was gonna be like, I was gonna be like, oh, please don't tell me that thing can move forty feet. It can. That would be never so it much can. A it can. It's a giant. It, it has a movement speed of forty feet. Okay, I was gonna. Okay, but it hadn't moved. I was wondering. No, it didn't. I was wondering because I was about to be like, that would be ever so much of an issue. <laughs> <laughs> with our current plan. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just you know, activate self-destruct. <laughs> ah, just blow up all, all of right. the party. All right. TPK. TPK. Yeah. 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 Fireball formation, everyone. <laughs> we go out like men. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I move there. Uh, Douglas still has move in action, doesn't he? Uh, not right now he doesn't, because it's not his turn, and he didn't ready his action. Oh, boy. Hmm. Because I wanted to call out, have him run. You could throw it, like, over here, or something. I could, and the, and the Vikings shouldn't be too much of a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, hang so, on. So, I'm more in there. Yeah. Or even, like right there, and that would hit all the Vikings but wouldn't hit Douglas. Yes, it would. Okay. Okay, uh, strike. Alright. Okay, strike there, then. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's make some deck saves. Frost Giants. Fail miserably. Roll, the, roll, your, roll your damage. Uh, roll you the roll damage. Roll it. Uh, whoever. I don't care. Okay, so, um... Oh, you're gonna do it? Uh, you can do it. It's 8d6, I'm telling you. Um, okay. Uh, hang on. It's 8D6. I've never actually used Fireball before. This is funny. <laughs> can, can the tank a thermal detonator be like, drop it now? You know what to do. <laughs> Switch and throw it. 8d6. Fire. And that doesn't add anything, right? Nope. Oh. Just 8d6. Got it. Yep. Alright, that Viking takes damage. This Viking passed with a nat 20, so he takes no damage. Nice. Frost Giant failed miserably, and the Viking Chief passed. But not with a nat 20. Viking Chief's half health. Viking Frost Chief is not at half health. Viking Chief. I mean, yes, it does. I mean, it would make sense. It's half horse. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh boy, I'm gonna need a. And I got nothing to throw. <laughs> well, that's not necessarily true. Um. Oh, and it also seems like a couple of guards tried to fight it off to yeah, keep it from try. going through the gate because you can see their mangled bodies in front of the gate. Yeah, yeah the I Lionel... just assumed there was like five corpses immediately <laughs> smashed. Yeah, the Lionel like... has a few cuts on it. <laughs> I, was I was wondering if they just saw that thing just break everything. <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, Kalani's got this. <laughs> you got this, Kalani. Alright, so what are you doing? Uh... You can ready your action. That's the thing you can do. It's likely to gonna use its bow against me. That's a fair so point. So it incentivizes me to get closer. However, it's 60 feet away from me. So you could dash. 
Yeah, yeah. I think what I could do is I could head closer to it so that it has more of an incentive to come towards me. Okay. And so hold gonna... my action there. So you could you could move closer to it and then ready your action so that once it comes within yeah. melee range, you grapple it. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. How do you do the how do you do the line thing again? Uh it's the you want the circle line with, line the with the ruler. And then just boom. Okay. So very there. Yeah, there. Alright, so move there and have my action ready. Alright. Uh anything else? Uh, I'm gonna hold my action for now. Yeah, I just don't know if you want to use your bonus action for anything. I can't really. It's already got my attention. It's already, it already, I already had its attention. Okay. All right. It is the Lionel's turn now. He is going to move up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's going to kind of like swing. It's going to kind of like run up to, to. To get like a you know a cavalry sort of blow with its spear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that one attack it does where it runs up towards you and just immediately smacks you with the with the spear. <laughs> Alright, so it comes within the it comes within the range of you, so roll your athletics check. Okay, athletics. You ready to you ready to grapple? Yes. I'm not sure if I can lift this thing, but there's not really anywhere good to throw it. And I'm not sure that's a good way to damage it right now. What are your critical cards right now? Um, one of them's a critical hit, and the other one is I can't read that. It has a smiley face. Uh, fortuitous circumstance. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Something good happens. <laughs> we'll save that for later. <laughs> for when this clearly isn't going right. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, you said athletics, right? Yep, athletics, because you were grappling it. And technically, what? you would be readying the attack action, so you could make two attempts at this. Oh, I wasn't going to grapple this thing. Oh, you weren't? What were you going to do? Oh, I was going to... Oh, I was just going to wail it with, with my axe. Okay, oh. go for it. Yeah. Was it going to run past me? Uh, it was not going to run past you. It was going to. Okay, like... I was gonna. I was asking, was it gonna do that charge to the side attack, and I was just gonna stop it dead in its tracks, <laughs> <laughs> which yeah, would immediate, which would undeniably look awesome. So yeah, you do get you do get two attacks. Yeah, like you. so. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. All right, and. Uh... So that's just uh, uh, no, it's all right. All righty. Second and, attack. Uh, I don't think that hits. <laughs> uh, no, it does not. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb and assume that doesn't hit. <laughs> An eleven wouldn't hit much, to be honest. All right, now yeah. it's going to make its stacks. Uh, you know, I can use a bonus action now still, can I? Uh, no, you can't, because you readied your action. Okay, never mind. So, swing it spear at you, it gets a 25 to hit with the first attack. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a Lionel, I, I was expecting to get hurt. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you take 13 damage with the first hit. Thirteen, gonna, you say. And it's gonna swing its spear at you again. I did not have a pencil ready. This is a problem. I'll wait for you to get the pencil ready. Okay, I got it. Let me just untangle my cable from my chair. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So you said thirteen, right? And the second attack will get a 17 to hit, which I know doesn't hit. Ah, sweet. Glances off my armor. All right. Uh, back to your turn. All right, cool. Um, Oh, wait. First, uh, one second. And you see it kind of, you see it put its spear back over its back, and it starts to rear up. Oh, crap. <laughs> 
I don't like what it's trying to do. That would be too ridiculous, wouldn't it? What? What if I were to mount? <laughs> uh, that would be a grapple check. <laughs> that would just basically just be a that would that would be a grapple. It would be a special grapple, but yeah, you could do that. Apparently, their creature type is, is giant. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna beat it down with my axe, but not. But then I was like, wait. What if I mount? <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're going to have to make a grapple check for that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just double check the roll. Uh, yes, you <laughs> successfully managed to mount the Lionel. It's like, a, it's like, you know, you know what I, you know what I want in my life? I want a parody of Metallica's Ride the Lightning called Ride the Lionel. <laughs> You know, I think I've seen a mod for Breath of the Wild where they replace the giant horse with a lionel. <laughs> <laughs> and it just looks ridiculous because it's just because everything operates like the horse except the top half of the lionel. <laughs> All right. It so just you... it just sits there like looking at people. <laughs> All right. So you will have um you will have advantage, advantage on attack, attacks, I assume. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he'll have to get you off before he can attack you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to hit me from back here, buddy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so go ahead and make uh, your make your second attack then. Yeah, I think it would be kind of hard to use my axe. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I'm since I'm basically using one arm to grapple it, I'm gonna. So. Just to be clear on this party's rules, I can I can just quick swap my weapons, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Switch to my sword. Okay. Go for it. Which is... Yeah, that's the same rule. <laughs> hey, uh... Is it Claudia's a sword? This one Claudia's a sword. Yeah, All right. right. yeah that'll hit. Oh, wait, you have yeah, advantage, yeah. so go uh, ahead and roll again. Out a... As she pulls out a scimitar. Yeah, go ahead and roll again because you do have advantage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Possibly. I mean, there's a lot of things that I have that I don't tell. People. And I'll claim since it's for a Gerudo, it will be considered a saber instead of a scimitar, so it deals a d8. Oh. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I assume it would be bigger than a normal scimitar. Okay, yeah. I'll have to mark that. So you said d8? Yeah, d8. Okay, that's just half the damage I normally do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so... Uh, I'll fix that while it's trying to do something against me. Uh, one D8. Plus five. <laughs> okay. So yeah, while I'm mounted, I while I'm mounted, I sheath my axe and and pull out a sword that none of you realized I had because it was covered in the armor. Yep. <laughs> and, and and then basically just stabbed it with it. <laughs> or slashed whatever. But the point is, it took 6 damage and it will have a problem. <laughs> and it right. currently has a problem yes <laughs> uh, it will use its action to try to get you off of it so it will make a contested athletics check so make an athletics check okay uh, All right, it reaches back, grabs a hold of you, and throws you to the ground in front of it. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> but we now know I can do that. Yes. <laughs> uh, and that was its action, so it's not going to do anything else. Kalani. Uh, how many actions would it be to to get up and remount? 
Uh, just one of your attacks, because getting up would be half your movement, and then one of your attacks to grapple. So... <laughs> so, I guess I mount again with a 22. Uh, no you don't. Oh, really? It beats you. Huh. So it manages to shove you off before you can even try to mount it. Bonus action grapple. <laughs> okay. And that was only just one of your attacks, by the way. I know, I know. I know. I'm just seeing if I can get away with a bonus action uh, it grapple. It fails this one. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I get another free attack. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is funny. <laughs> yep. Roll critical damage. Yuck it up, everyone. And don't we get a card? Uh, yes, he does get a card. What'd you get? So that's two d eight, right? Yes, two d eight. What did you get? I couldn't. I can't see your critical cards right now. Oh, what did I get? Uh. Disadvantage. All right, you can impose disadvantage on one d20 roll. <laughs> I know exactly what to use that on. Uh. <laughs> I think you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, uh, just writing it epic. Like right now, I've got that triumphant Z Twilight Princess boss music playing in my head right now. <laughs> oh, one D, oh. two D eight plus five. Well, I just have you know a bit of the fakes in my head. I just have this look at my amazing horse. <laughs> All right, it is the Lionel's turn again. Does it taste like raisins? Uh, it is going to try to get you off of its back. Can I disadvantage that? Yes, you can. <laughs> All right, make an athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you successfully prevent it from grabbing you. All right, your turn. I'm sorry. God, that's just too funny to me. It's normally a lot harder to mount a lion. <laughs> and I'm just like, and I'm just like, and I'm just like, look, at your man. Now back to me. I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we have Griswold who runs in circles around things. Yeah. Me who is just like. Going up. <laughs> Maddie just <laughs> dropping nukes like she only like she doesn't only have five of those left. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see your. Yeah, you know, like three left. <laughs> yes, she has three left. <laughs> yeah. And then Kalani, who's just oh, ride this thing. Ride the lion. Oh, yeah. yeah. And now I'm just picturing this beautiful shot of the Lionel rearing up, and I'm like, and I'm just epically on its back. All right, it's your turn. Let's see, Brent. Anyways. <laughs> oh, God. I was, I was laughing so hard, it's hotter in here now. Uh, but, uh, okay, so. Okay, so. Uh, obviously. Uh, obviously, it's uh, it's attacking time. Yes. Uh, does that hit? Yep. And you All have right. advantage on your attack rolls anyways. Uh, too high. Yes, because you are currently riding the Lionel. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that, but that's amazing. 
Okay. Okay. I, I just realized something. So there's the damage for the first attack. That was great. Yep. Wow. Good um, you wait, have I get advantage. Good thing you have advantage. Uh, that will hit, yes. Oh, wow. Huh, it's got a less of an AC than I do. It doesn't have much AC, no. It's unarmored, so... It's a giant object. Huh. Like, Lionels don't really have that much armor. They have, like, a no, chest strap and a kilt. Yeah. And I guess some leg wraps, but those don't count. Were those leg wraps? I just assumed the, the, that was tufts of fur on it. Uh, no, I mean the thing above the tufts of fur. Oh, I guess it might. I'll have to look at a picture of it again. You know, they're like the, right like the, thi they're like the thing that boxers do where they wrap where they wrap cloth around their hands. Yeah. Hang on, let me see. I mean, I could have thrown a, a golden Lionel at you. Maybe yeah, and that would have killed the whole party. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Mm. I think I'm fast. Yeah, you're right. It, oh, yeah, you're right. It does. Uh, it does have like it does have athletic wraps just above its hooves. Yep. Huh. I just realized there was something else I could have done. I could have stabbed my dagger into the. Exactly, and then just cast heat metal on the dagger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you were flying, so you couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't land because I was flying. I would have to be on the ground. In the future, if Beskar has a jetpack attached to it, so I don't have to use fly. That's true, yeah. Hmm. Just be like, stab. Not heat. much. Run away. Not much I can do, uh, I can do with my, uh, with my bonus action from up here, so I think that's my turn. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm yep. gonna just go ahead and uh, roll to keep my uh, mount. Yes. <laughs> hey! Uh, this time it's not gonna let go of you. So it oh. has grappled <laughs> you now. <laughs> oh, so, so this is how it feels. And it's, hold, <laughs> and it's holding you up in front of it. That's still its action to get it off of you, though. So yeah, your turn. Okay. Uh, I should have while I was uh wouldn't have been a bonus action though. Oh well. <laughs> uh, to be fair, Lion, to be fair, if there was any monster I'd be afraid of for its intelligence out of all the ones we fought, it would have been the Lionel. <laughs> Those things are scary. Yeah, for some so reason anyways. the stat block I have, its creature type is giant. Um, well, I mean, it is rather large. Yeah, but it's not like, yeah, but, um, I would think it would be I, monstrosity. I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess the reason they selected it that way is because it resembles more of a centaur than a, a yeah. giant centaur than a monstrosity. But centaurs are monstrosities. That's a well, fair I've point. Monstrosities is basically just the group for all the things they didn't know how to classify. It's the other <laughs> group. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, that is interesting. Uh, so, well, I mean, uh, how's <laughs> it grappling me? I'm curious. Uh, it has a hold of you in one of its hands. Okay. So it wouldn't be hard for me to, say, take my axe and bury it in its arm. No, it would not. <clears throat> Uh, you wouldn't have advantage, but you could do that. Yeah, obviously no advantage. Um, yeah, it's that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that does not hit. So yeah, first attack doesn't and hit. Second attack. Mm. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, make a luck check. Uh, that's just a d20, right? Yes. Wait a second. I'm gonna help you out here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. Let's see. Uh... All right. It catches your axe in, in the middle of a swing with its other hand. Oh, boy. <laughs> and throws it off to the side over here. Oh, jeez. 
just I kind of saw that coming. Anything else? Um. Screw it. Bonus action. I grapple his arm. You're gonna <laughs> grapple him back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah. for it. Might as well. Can't get any worse. <laughs> uh, was was the plus thirteen? Was that? Yeah, that was your roll. So yeah, you successfully yeah. grab onto his arm. Yeah. I technically could have used that to break out of his grapple, couldn't I have? Yeah. Well, not. But you would have had action. to do that as your action, though. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. I'm grappling him, but not as he's grappling me, but he's not grappling me as hard as I'm grappling him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who's got the firmer grip? Well, I mean, he's the one picking me up, so. Yeah. <laughs> but you're saying something because your armor by itself. You know, it lifts you up so your eye level, and it looks and it looks right at you. Oh no. And then open, and it's like holding you by the. By, oh, I know by your helmet. Do. It's fire blasting me. <laughs> and it opens its mouth and breathes fire on you. <laughs> and because it is holding you in place, you automatically fail the saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you take 26 fire damage. Please. As it exhales a cone of flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone just sees Galani disappear in flames for a moment. <laughs> He's like, ooh, 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 oh, dear. Uh, and then it is your turn again. Okay, hang on. Uh, I need to math that. That was 26, you said? Yes, 26. I swear to God, if uh, we have to do all of this over again. <laughs> because Galani got beat to death by a Lionel. <laughs> I don't think there's a risk of that. I'm I'm pretty good on hit points. I just need to math that. Yeah, you're really bulky. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty good on on hit points. I'm assuming that's the only reason John had any confidence in having me fight this thing alone. Yeah. This is a tank fight. <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. Okay, so. Oh, that's not bad at all. Uh, so. So, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to see if I can... Mm, that would be one of my actions. And then my next idea would... Hmm, it would be kind of tricky, but... So, I'm going to see if I can break its grapple. Okay. How do you do that? Make a contested athletics check. Alright. Uh, roll off. Just roll a straight d20. Because it rolled the same thing as you. Weird. All right, you break its grapple. Okay, I was like, uh, we both rolled 21. Huh, we're both old enough to drink. Mm. You successfully break its grapple on you, but you are still grappling it. Yeah, oh, I'm still grappling it. Yes, and that was your action to break its grapple, just so you know. Yeah. Would it be movement or something else for me to try to... Not necessarily maneuver so I'm mounting it again, but to maneuver it so I'm not exactly on the front of it still. Uh yeah, that'd be movement. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. And what would it be to take his weapon that he's got sheathed right now? Uh that would require probably your action. Yeah, 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 but what would the roll be? Uh, that would just be an, a contested athletics check. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, I'm gonna, so yeah, he took my, he took my axe, I'm gonna take his pike. <laughs> Alrighty. How dare he? Um, You're awfully silent. He's going to that have disagreed. me. What? You're awfully quiet. That worries me. <laughs> uh, he's going to have disadvantage on this check because he's not expecting you to grab his spear. Yeah. Uh, he Nothing still is. manages to beat you, though. So. Wow. As you reach wow. up to grab his spear off of his back, he draws it. Okay. Yeah, you must have very good actions. Yeah, you have your bonus. How many actions do I have left? You have your bonus action left. Okay.
grapple harder. <laughs> that doesn't make any difference unless you have the grapple. I know, feet, that I know but <laughs> what else am I going to do with my bonus action? Yeah. <laughs> grapple harder. <laughs> Alrighty, it's going to attempt to break your grapple. <laughs> I mean, I'm on its shoulder. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and roll that grapple check. <laughs> yeah, you know the, you the know war that. of the grapple. <laughs> And no, a grapple is not considered an attack, so you don't get a critical card. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, he will not break your grapple. <laughs> I'm the grapple your turn. master for a reason. I, I, this I fight is, a, a is the longest boss, one of the is the longest one of the bunch. I turn. It went from a fight to a wrestling match. I mean. <laughs> We're re I'm wrestling with a Lionel in the mud. <laughs> oh, jeez. How hurt is this thing? Uh, it's... I'm, I'm trying to gauge it is not even uh, how long it'll take me to kill it. It's not bloodied. Alright. Gotta get serious, then. Jonah, is this the fastest? Nuke. Hack. <laughs> All right. Yeah, All right, John. Okay. I'm going to grapple its horn. All right. Specifically <laughs> its horn. Why? Uh, I want to I want to break it off and jam it in its eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make a grapple check. Vicious. Yeah, it's time to get down and dirty. All right, you successfully grapple its horn. You're going to have to make another athletics check to break the horn off and then an attack roll with the horn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm assuming the uh actually we could call the grapple my bonus action, couldn't we? Yes. <coughs> and so then this would be my first action, and then the second action would be Your first attack, the, and then your second attack would be the stab. Would be the horn jabbing. Yes. So go ahead and make that check. Yeah, you rip its horn off. And it <laughs> roars in pain. Yeah. And, uh, what would a Lionel Horns roll be? <laughs> uh, it would just be the same because it's it's just an attack with a weapon, effectively. Okay. You have Tavern Brawler. Uh, I'll All roll right. the damage for it. Alright, yeah. So, you know, in the eye. <laughs> yep, make an uh, attack roll. Yep, that'll hit. Right in the eye. <laughs> Alright, it takes 27 points of piercing damage. <laughs> and again, it roars in pain. Yeah, just tear jam. <laughs> uh, it did take damage when you broke its horn off, by the way. Just so you know. Oh, nice. I mean, that doesn't make sense, because you literally ripped yeah, its yeah, horn yeah, off. Yeah, 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 horn... <laughs> This may not be known to most people, but if you were to break an antler right off the head of, of an animal that has antlers, it would bleed. <laughs> I didn't know it would bleed. Because... I knew it would hurt it, but I didn't know it would bleed. Oh, yeah, it would. There, there is, uh, like, it doesn't go all the way through the antlers, but they do have blood to an extent in the antlers. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Just a weird fact I learned one day about, about, uh, about uh, antler biology. Unless there's I, anything else, I don't you even want remember to where or how I learned it. I just learned that was a thing. Unless there's anything else you want to do, that will be. I don't think there is anything. I mean, else you I can, can drag any. Action. You can drag any creature as a with no penalties to your movement. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm already grabbed, and I'm already. Uh... No, he hasn't grappled you. You're grappling it, but he's not grappling you. So you can drag that thing wherever you want. Oh. Am I on the am I on the ground? You could be if you want to. Would it be a drag action to try to bring it down? No, that would be an attack. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I was I was thinking if I if I were to like try to basically prone it, but that would be an attack. Oh, that yeah, would that, be an that attack. would be an attack. Undeniably, that would be an attack. Uh, like, that wouldn't be a drag. Yeah. So you could drag it like towards the like, gate or something if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna drag it towards my axe. Okay. Uh, yeah, just I'm move. Just, just move your your character to where you want to be. 
Yeah. I guess I'll be right there. And he'll he'll be not far behind. Actually, no, he'll be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna pull him over. <laughs> Uh, Varut, oh, you would boy. have time to repair your e web in between these fights, by the way, just you know. I well, yeah, especially you during would. this fight. Good lord. <laughs> okay. All right. I wonder if he even would be repairing it. He'd be too busy watching me beat fight the try of breathing monster. <laughs> yeah. All right. It is the Lionel's turn now. Oh God, what's it gonna do to me? It's gonna be pissed. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is going. You it's know what? Weird. Yeah. It's going to pick up your axe. Oh, crap. <laughs> and it is going to swing it at you. Hmm. Rip in pieces. Uh, that's a 13 to hit on the first attack, so that's a no. Uh, but yeah. that is a 26 to hit for his second attack. Alright. What does he do? 16 slashing damage. Wow. He crit. No, he did not. Oh, yeah, that's 2d8 plus his strength. Yeah. All right. Your turn. Uh, well, you should totally jab Oh, wait, I have to roll to see oh, if he gets his fire breath back. He does not get his fire breath back. Uh, hang on. That's, uh... You said 16, right? Yep. All right. You can jab that horn in his other eye and blind him. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I pictured I can't. I mean, do I still have it or did I leave it in there? Uh, you probably left it in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought. Yeah, I pictured I just left it in its face. <laughs> Although he does bring a good idea. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna since it's my turn. Yes, it is. Um. So I'm still grappling him. He just beat me with my weapon. I'm gonna take my weapon back. I'll tear his hand off if I have to. Alrighty. Uh, so that'll be just a contested <laughs> athletics check. Yes, <laughs> All right, yeah, you successfully take your axe back. Yeah, yeah. Did I break his hand to do so, or did um, it just slip out of his grip? Eyes or lows? Um, let's go with lows. Yep, you broke his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone heard a cracking sound as I just tore my axe out of its hand. <laughs> the crowd is really riled up, by the way. They are loving this fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is getting down and dirty. <laughs> Do I still? I still have an attack action. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You could hyper. Uh, you that would be one of your attacks to return your axe to its rightful owner. Yeah, so I'm gonna use it to. <laughs> I'm gonna use it to attempt to break his other arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. It's, it's a lion. All this thing is uh, dangerous. All right, go for that attack roll. No. <laughs> no, that does not hit. You are correct. No. <laughs> <laughs> Love the contrast in our approaches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, everyone else was like, stay as far away from, um, as, from it as possible. And I'm like, and I'm like, I am going to tear this thing apart piece by piece with my I fair mean, hand. I the exception to you, but even then with us, it was still different. Griswold was just running circles after I beat it with a stick and run away. Yeah. All right, it is, the, it is the Lionel's turn. It's going to try to grapple you again. So, yeah, go ahead and make your athletics check. Oh, yeah. All right, mm. it grapples you. Okay. And then it's going to attempt to break your grapple on it. <laughs> kind of hard with a broken hand. I know, but it's going to try. <laughs> Make your athletics check. Oh. Yep, it does not succeed. So... 
Uh, you uselessly pause at me with a broken hand. It is your turn now, so yeah, you are cur- you are still grappled by him, so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So let's uh ungrapple myself. That's an athletics, right? Yep. Well, you rolled a nat one, so uh, yeah, <laughs> you easily ungrapple yourself. Okay. Okay. So, am I? Yeah. No, I'm still grappling it because it yes. didn't broke hand. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to jam the. Or no, 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 no. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to break its arm again. <laughs> It's other arm okay. again. Okay. Go for it. Are you going to do this through raw brute force, or are you going to swing your axe to try to break it? Uh, well, I'm... I mean, I could. Yeah, you could just break his arm. I mean... Yeah, yeah, just... Just leverage myself and just snap it out of its socket. <laughs> if you want to do that, you're going to have to make an athletics check. Oh, that's an athletics. Yes. <laughs> okay. What well, else would it be? That. Yeah. No, 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 you're right. <laughs> so ignore that 22, because I, I rolled that before yep. I realized this was an option. <laughs> yeah, you, you, pu- I assume you're grab you're, you're holding on to the arm that doesn't have a broken hand. Yeah, 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 I was, yeah, yeah. Basically, I pictured this whole scenario. It had me in its right arm. It attacked me with its, with its left arm. I broke that hand. And and now I effectively just swung around to the to uh, to the mounting position again and popped its arm out of its socket. Yeah, you you swing around off to the side, you pull its arm out straight, and you hear a loud crack. <laughs> and the the Lionel roars in pain and falls to the and, and falls to the dirt. He's not dead, but he is unconscious unconscious <laughs> and okay. you feel compelled to look up towards the box with okay the i'll look towards the box all right so thumbs the... up or thumbs down <laughs> oh please tell me he's he wants the... me to kill it because there's every bone in my body is telling me to kill it the emperor stands up holds his thumb out to the side and then turns it down so that's kill it? Yeah. Yep. Am I compelled yep. to understand that that means kill it? Yes. You understand <laughs> that, that means kill it. Despite all evidence to the contrary, Kalani's not a gladiator. <laughs> I know, but you under- you still understand that that means killing it. Okay. Uh, and because so, it is helpless, you are easily able to finish it off. How do you finish it off? Uh, <laughs> I'm getting me in. <laughs> well... Yeah, I think that's the only way to do this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come out executioner style and take its head off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You are <laughs> easily able to just chop right through, and you and yeah, the Lionel is yeah. now dead. And he he's looking around. I want to talk to the, 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 the four that just fought. Where where are those? Like, just, like, he, he just looks to me while I'm stripping the... <laughs> while I'm effectively getting myself a, a lionel-maned skull on... Yeah. A red-maned lionel skull on my... <laughs> yep. Uh, it, you know, it, just to let you know, the way I do it is that I make it so that I still have, like, the, ri- the lionel's red mane on the uh like around the skull <laughs> okay um and he's just like well i want to talk to you I, I i'm a reporter here in here in the city and i saw you're fighting the crowds are really liking you do you, does your group have a name oh uh you're supposed i'm just we I'm weren't just... supposed to have a name for our, like, <laughs> our circus <laughs> 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 But other than 
on that. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. We wanted to have a name for the circus, but then that became a non thing. <laughs> because we Baru like... blew up the guy too quickly. Why are you well, looking like... at me? I didn't know. Hey, where, it's your where, fault. Where you were in act. I Baru was. Up. Up. I have five acts performance. Exactly. She wasn't able to finish that. It's all because of you. Mm, so you would have rather just, you know, sat there performing for yes, that. You that could have been waited until it got more juicy. So it got to like to the climax. The and the reporter throughout <laughs> all of this is just furiously <laughs> writing. We're just sitting there in the middle of an argument. <laughs> I think I'm like some sort of pyromaniac psychopath. And I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna casually while, while affixing my shiny new monster ridden shoulder pauldron, I, yeah, we don't, yeah, we never really discussed a name. We've just been yeah. together. <laughs> I'm sitting here, you know, building yet another thermal detonator, tinkering, preparing the e -web. While there are we'll two call things. ourselves the cockroaches. nuclear warheads over here. I just, I've just sort of thought of them as my kids. <laughs> yeah. And who might you be? <laughs> what? And who might you be? I'm Kalani. She's well, the mom of the group. That would be. A, that would be. A, that would be <laughs> I'm sorry. Are we just <laughs> calling? Are we just calling our group Kalani's kids now? Kalani and the kids. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, you know, in the weird spot of like the only one the kids <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> are, are we like seriously gonna do that? And after I mean, the, uh, the the reporter leaves and you you oh. get some time resting and <laughs> like I just wanna know, like officially, are we calling ourselves that? Oh. the kids club. <laughs> or is it for KKK? <laughs> I'm not against it. I just want to make sure everyone agrees on it. No, not that. No. Like I said, you are not the one in this weird spot. He's like the only other responsible not one. Not that. It's like somewhere between, the, you know, the reckless child and just just that one that one guy who's just like, why am I here? Yeah. But deal yeah. with. Yeah, you're like the actual father who's just Yeah, yeah, he's the surrogate father, except for when I occasionally need to be your mom, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, you cannot go shoving a thermal detonator down someone's throat. But, 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 but. And eventually, don't throw thermal detonators really nilly. <laughs> and blow him up that way. And eventually you hear... Uh... But and then he just says, "But it all ends tonight." Oh, oh! I need to mark Lionel Horn as part. <laughs> and you see, you feel the the ground shake beneath you. Oh dear. Okay. Um, I'm just making sure I have everyone's full attention here. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Shaking you ground. you see the sand. Um. In the arena, a ways away, begin to begin to tremble and and part a little bit, and then the head of an enormous worm, with purple with a purple carapace covering its in, covering its back, bursts out of the ground. Oh, Roll a initiative. Giant a giant purple Here we worm. Go. Fun. Oh, That's look at that with its Hollow Knight art style. <laughs> oh, lovely. All right. It's the Alaskan oh. bullworm. No, it's a purple worm. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, none of us know what this is. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a different I mean, flavor of tea. Oh. 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 <laughs> nice. Fifteen. It's actually a pretty big purple worm. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going last. If that thing somehow goes after me, I pity it. Yeah, it's it, it's not going after you. Well, um, I'm just going to start stacking dice. All right, <laughs> Brute, you are up first. Okay, let's just set down the E-Web just, you know, right there. Okay. That's the action. Okay. 
Bonus action, it's going to go pew pew. Okay. Oh, that was that was creepy. D fourteen. All right. Pew. Pew. You guys aren't strong enough to deal with something that has legendary actions yet. Otherwise, the champion would totally be something that had legendary actions. Because then it would feel like a proper boss fight. I mean, this still, this still will feel like a boss fight. Anyways, Griswold. All right. Hmm. I do the same thing that I usually do. I One. cast haste. Okay. And what was it? I'm going to get out a gun. And I'm gonna go uh, pew pew. Alrighty. So roll d20 plus nine. Twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Roll two d6 plus five. Uh, thirteen points of slashing damage. Is it magical? No. It's just a gun. Well, it doesn't need to be magical. Purple worms don't have any resistances. Oh, okay. They're just All big right. and they have a ton of health. Mm -hmm. I, hmm, something just suggesting that I can get multiple of us in the same go. I'm just gonna also Varut, You forgot to make an attack roll. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Whoops. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this way. Okay. Check one thing that might actually be plus eleven. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that oh, that is plus eleven. Ha <laughs> ha. So, yeah, that would hit. Yeah, but it, I wasn't gonna make you roll it. So, oh. uh, anyway, anything else, Griswold? Well? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. Okay, Juno. Nuke. I nuke it. Okay, you nuke it. It okay. is really good at con saves, just so you know. Oh no, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, it passes it's with a session, 29. Right? Okay. Yeah. So it'll take half this, damage. This all of a sudden oh. changes what I was thinking about doing. <laughs> huh. this is I was thinking of using right? that sonic imploder to give it disadvantage on all attack rolls, but oh. new. Nope. Better than nothing. Seven. I don't think purple worms have ears, so I don't. That spell would work. Oh, uh, they have tremor sense, so I feel like it would be more effective against. I feel like something that is sound based would be more effective. Oh. Anyways, oh. Uh, what is Carl doing? Oh. Burning through all your Action. nukes, Juno. You know? Huh? You're just burning through all your nukes. Like, you only I have two have of those left. At it. I only have, yeah, two left, yeah. I'm not going to use them anymore. Um, oh, that was intended to be a thing where you're like, holy crap, we're getting slaughtered. I need to shoot one into the crowd and blow up a bunch of enemies. Yeah. Like a mega no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was picturing you'd use that more as a, like, more as a better stash this till there's a boss fight. Yeah, or use it like a Hail Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for the last two, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Because yeah. Alright. I don't um, think this thing's got any arms I can dislocate. No, it does not. <laughs> uh what is Carl doing? Carl is running up to him. Goodbye, Carl. We knew you well. Right here, and that's all Carl can do. All right, uh, it is now the purple worm's turn. It oh, is no. going to move up. Carl's it's going to kind of tunnel through the ground and move up, and it is going to make a bite attack against Carl. Rest okay. in peace, Carl. <laughs> uh, that is a twenty-seven to hit. Oh yeah, that Ooh, definitely nice. hits. Uh, and Carl needs to make a deck save. Deck save, okay. Nine Just so everyone knows, I went ahead and marked Session 10's highlight as as the Lionel battle. <laughs> okay. All right. Kalani, Red Main Lionel versus Kalani. 
I'll get the time uh, yes. stamp Yes, so Carl takes 24 points of piercing damage. Carl is oh, down. Okay. <laughs> and Carl is swallowed by the purple worm. Oh, no. Carl, oh, no. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, wait a second. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Ideas. It's inside the Initially, purple. Initially, I thought I was going to go with my hand to thermal that man's and then fly up, but now I have another different plan. 15, 20, oh, 25, 30, 30, 30, 35, 40, 45. All right, he can move all the way up. Uh, and then he is going to attack the E-Web with his tail stinger. Okay. His tail shoots out of the ground, stabs the E-Web. Well, stabs at the E-Web. That is a 21 to hit. Yep. All right. It is an object, so it's immune to poison damage. Uh, but it does take 17 points of piercing damage. All right. Alrighty, Kalani, you're up. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was doing some other stuff. I was I mean I I have a three on initiative. <laughs> yeah. Everything in his grandmother is gonna move before I do. Yeah, but you're still up. <laughs> yep. Anyways, uh Hmm. So it it uh it launched uh, with a stinger. Uh, it shot a stinger out of the ground over here. Okay. Yeah, because I'm wondering if I'd be able to walk over there and break off the stinger. Uh, you can try. Uh, it right. will make an opportunity attack against you if you move out of its reach. Actually, you wouldn't move out of its reach by walking over there, because it has reach, so. Yeah. Yeah, because, and I'm pretty much just going over here. All which right. Is uh, where make, the stinger is. Make an athletics check to grapple it first. Uh, yeah, you successfully grapple the stinger. Yeah, yeah, and I just want to understand, this is just a stinger that's on its tail, isn't yes, it? Yes, this is its tail stinger, yes. Ah! So, now... Well, I you're... mean, it's not like Kalani knows that, but at the same time, it's just, you know... At the same time, it's just a, uh... I've actually never fought a purple worm before, so this yes. is gonna be fun. So you will <laughs> have to rip that stinger off now. Yep, uh, so, uh, the, would that be athletics, or would that, that would be... That be an athletics like check. One higher than what I used to grab it. <laughs> uh, yes, you successfully rip the stinger off of its tail. And I'm, you see... I'm like, no more of that? <laughs> you see green blood and, po and what you assume to be poison leaking from the wound. Nice. Alright, no more of that. <laughs> Um, uh, and that would have been your bonus action and one of your attacks to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And would I still be in range to, uh, swing, to swing, uh, an attack at this thing? Yes. Yes, you would. Would I be able to poison it with its own stinger? Yes, you would. All right. I'm going to do that. Would that right, just be my normal attack roll? That would just be a normal attack roll. Yes. Was that the attack roll? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, unless anyone wants to give him a bonus to that. You know what? Hang on. Hang on. I have I a... I can give a bonus. You know what? Uh, I've been holding on to it for a while. I think I can finally part with critical hit. Okay. Uh, that only works if you already hit. Oh. So, I'll just leave that on the battle map. For you, uh, but Juno has a advantage card that she can play. She has two. I'm just sorting oh. them. Trust me when I say that if that hit this hits, it will do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basic. Ba uh. You know how scorpions are super dangerous with their stingers. Yeah. Their sting. If it were to if it were to sting itself, it would die. <laughs> Purple worm poison is here. the most powerful poison in the Dungeon Master's Guide. <laughs> yeah, it's nasty stuff. Yeah. Granted, this thing is really good at con saves, so it'll probably only take half the damage. 
but it'll still take a bunch of damage. Mm. Yeah. Regardless, that's consistent damage through the whole thing because Kalani decided decided I don't like this. All right, so yeah, Juno, you need to. You, are you going to do that? Yeah. All right, yeah. so play the card. All right, so roll again. Okay. Like I'm actually really hoping you guys get this done. Oh this. come on! <laughs> uh, so no, that does not hit. I guess we'll just use my critical hit for the next time. Yeah. Because I've still got it. Yep. Uh, Varut, it is your turn. Okay. Um. All right, back to stacking dice. <laughs> okay. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, theoretically, could I throw the... But I do need to tell you. Um, if you got it to open its mouth, its mouth is not currently open. Um, how much of it is sticking out of the ground on the head end? Uh, about 20 feet worth of it. Okay. Hmm. Anything metal on it? Nope. Oh. Oh. Ooh, wait. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stab it with the vibroblade. Okay. Bury the vibroblade. That would be an attack against it, so yeah. Nope. It, right. it 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 like it like glances off of its carapace. All right. Well, you have gonna go pew pew. Alrighty. Make your attack roll. Yep, that'll hit. Well, well, ready. Alrighty. Um, could I hand the viper blade to Kalani and be like, "Hey, just jab this thing in its side." Sure. Okay, I do that. Yeah. Not currently wielding my axe because I'm wielding a I'm wielding a stinger. Alright, Griswold, it is your turn. Alright. You said the sound based things would be more effective against it, yes, right? Because it has tremor sense, so. Alright. Okay. Are you gonna do that Banshee's whale thing? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it will have disadvantage on the con save, which, what's the DC on that? Uh, 16. All right, it passes. All right. I think Tremor Sense even doesn't work if something like that happens. Uh, no, it's not, okay. So 20 points of psychic damage. All righty. All right. Uh, time to make my salt scarce. Well, actually, no. I gotta go up to it and hit it with the stick. Hmm. All right, you are flanking where you are, thanks to Juno. So you can roll at advantage. <laughs> yep, that'll hit. And then bonus action, I'm uh, going to try to hit it with a crack back with the other side. All right. Hmm. Unless everyone moves, there's nowhere... Oh, uh, yes, that will hit. ...without causing friendly fire. I don't have it pulled back. Okay, I can I can do that. I have the movement. Okay. There we go. That's my turn. Alrighty. Uh, Juno. I'm gonna pull out my hunting rifle. Okay. And shooty shooty. Alrighty. Uh, you would be at disadvantage right now unless you have the crossbow expert feet or the gunner feet. I'm sorry, what? You would uh, be attacking at disadvantage right now unless you had crossbow expert or gunner. 
I just have sharpshooter. Okay, so you will be attacking at disadvantage because you're within five feet. Okay. That was supposed to be a plus three, but whatever. Go ahead and roll again. Doesn't really matter, yeah. Yeah, alright, so nope, that doesn't hit. Thank name it. Okay. Ugh. Nice. Shoot again. Yep. This gives it that 20. Oh. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. Uh, anything else for your turn? Mm. Any bonus actions? Nope. Alrighty, then Carl needs to make a death save. Gosh, okay. Yeah, Carl's been swallowed up. Yeah. It's slash gr, right? Oh my gosh. All right, that is, yeah. Uh, and now it takes damage from the acid in the worm's stomach, so he automatically gets one death saving throw of failure. That's the start of the worm's turn now. Uh, and it is going to attack Kalani with its bite attack. What did I ever do to... Oh. <laughs> Ripped off its stinger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just I'm just picturing it's like, what did I do to you? Oh. As I look at oh, the... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. That's a 24 to hit, and I didn't even use the right modifier. Um, so, yeah, make a dex save. Alright, dex save. I don't right. like this. Uh, you take 18 points of piercing damage. Alright. And you are swallowed by the worm. I'm going to reduce that damage by <laughs> 9. Jab the fibro blade in his throat. <laughs> you have to I... be able to see it in order to heat metal. Oh, darn it. Yeah. Though it did just open his mouth, so I mean, when it goes to attack, you could like Ready your action and say, when it goes to attack, I cast heat metal on the vibrant blade, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, oh. So, while you are swallowed... <laughs> heat are... metal on Kalani. You son of a... <laughs> <laughs> while you're swallowed, you are considered blinded and restrained, which means you have disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. And you have total cover against... Actually, you don't have disadvantage on attack rolls against the worm, because there's nothing else you can hit. Yeah. So um, you will have the, uh, actually the, what advantage. What was the damage again? What? What was the damage again? Uh, it was 18 damage. 18 minus 9. So 9 damage. Uh, yes, you will actually have advantage against the worm. Because, I mean, it's kind of hard not to hit the worm. <laughs> yeah. Like, actually hit the worm, not necessarily hurt the worm. But, you know. Yeah. Wait, what if... What if I, I, I tossed from a detonator in there and it flew like past Kalani down into its skull? Uh, Kalani mm. would be in its blast radius. This is it true? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I would have, have disadvantage that it on the same. The way you think it would, because I don't <laughs> think it would explode. Uh, even if this thing were, say, uh, even <clears throat> if this thing were, say, like 40 feet plan. long and we put it like at the very bottom of it. I have a feeling it would just kind of funnel the explosion through the thing. Yeah, it would. Wait, wait, wait. But if we do that, will Kalani be forced out? Uh, no. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Depends. I'm not sure about that, cause... And also, if uh. the worm takes 30 damage or more on a single turn from a creature inside it, the worm must succeed a con save at the end of that turn or regurgitate all swallowed creatures, which fall prone in a space within 10 feet of the worm. Okay. So, yeah. If you can deal a whole bunch of damage to it while you're inside it, it will have to make a save or spit you up. Uh, so, and also you take acid damage at the start of each of the worm's turns. 
Uh, and then it's going to... It can't attack with its tail stinger, so Kalani. Um, yeah, so... Can't attack with its tail stinger. I wonder <laughs> whose fault that is. <laughs> Wait, I wonder is it considered who's... audible... Isn't this considered auto-cannibalism? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> it just ate its own stinger. <laughs> That's true, but not intentionally. Like it was yeah, trying to eat you. It in its throat. <laughs> and it also has an intelligence of one. Yeah, just do two things. Jab the fiber blade in its throat, and then jab the stinger in its throat. I'm going to jab the stinger, the then blade. blade. Yeah, okay, problems. so jab the stinger in. Uh, yes, that will hit, but go ahead and roll again and see if you crit. Nope. No. All right, you get your critical card. So the damage will be 6d6 plus your strength modifier. Oh, 6d6. Yes. Okay. It's a purple worm stinger. It does a lot of damage. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I've I've never actually fought a purple worm before. The closest I've done was uh, we were playing a uh, one-shot game where a, uh, we were all playing bards, and it was just a bard battle royale. I did that one. One I of us turned in into a purple bard. worm, but I used a spell to be fr to make them convinced that they were my best friend, so they didn't attack me. <laughs> and I just sat there <laughs> as a gnome. And I was just a gnome the whole time playing a grand piano. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so, uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, so that was... 66. Four, well, how many? 46? 66. Or, 66. Uh, plus anything? or Plus your strength, strength modifier. Plus strength, so... Let's just make sure that's not nothing unnecessary there. Alright, so that's just the damage from the stinger <laughs> itself. <laughs> so now it's going to make a con save against its own poison. <laughs> please i like as the dm i probably shouldn't be asking for this but i want it to fail yeah you want it to poison itself while in Matt its own stomach. i want card. it to take the full damage because it's gonna take a lot of damage maddie use the failure card do it do it, use it. Do it. all right it fails the saving throw <laughs> It's got the full Okay, damage. Kalani, because you so, got a critical hit, um, uh, that will apply for the poison as well. So, uh, roll 2046. 2046, okay! Oh, what are you? Good oh. lord! <laughs> and it is still alive. <laughs> But not by much. <laughs> I have a second attack, and that's the scary part. Uh, but it is going to... It's going to have to try and regurgitate you up now. <laughs> yeah. And Carl. Yeah. Uh, it fails the saving throw, so both Carl and Pilani are regurgitated. <laughs> they just watched me get eaten, and then immediately... <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah. And I don't have a stinger in my hand anymore. Yep. <laughs> No, there's no point in it. I can't take the stinger with me. It'll run out of poison eventually. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, second attack. Yeah. Or You're am I have all to the move way up, up here first. Now? Oh, move up. Grab the vibro blade in its side. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't matter. It has like no health. Like you yeah, guys can see the bar at the top, right? No. No. You should at least be able to see the green bar, not the. Oh, no green bar. Okay. Let me fix that. Uh, player permission C. There we go. There you go. Now you can see it. Um, what can we no. see? I don't see it. Right bar. above the worm, there should be a thin green bar. No, don't see it. Don't see no bar. Okay then. I thought I. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll uh battle axe damage oh, didn't because save I'm the settings. It's... That's why. There we go. Mm. Oh, there it is. Ah. There, uh... Yeah. Look at how little health it has. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Uh, axe. Okay. Does that hit? No. I have a feeling hit. that didn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh well. 
All right, How do you Baruch. deal with a finishing blow? Is his mouth still open? Uh, no, his mouth is not still open. Darn it. Hmm. It doesn't just keep its mouth open. Hmm. Uh, okay. Lightning bolt? Throw the grenade at, at, at behind it. Or shatter. I think lightning bolt is the safest against friendly fire, so uh, uh, yep. yeah, I'm... I'm discharging a d d arc of electricity. Make a text save. Uh, yeah, it rolled a 10. Yeah, no. Roll damage. It's like lightning. All right, you fire this arc of electricity forwards, and it, you know, after regurgitating Kalani, it's kind of like swaying around a little bit because it looks really hurt. And it, you know, it kind of... You know, it, it's lowering its head down, and the lightning bolt hits it right in the head, and you see the whole thing just light up, and it, it, it sits there and, like, twitches for for a few seconds, and then it falls dead. Thump. Yay. Hey! And I'm actually going to leave the token there, because it's a really big dead body. Nine bottles of Nuka Cola. All right, I'm gonna get the rest. It's gonna be like a Scooby Snack kind of deal, except bottles of Nuka Cola. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did we just uh, decide that Juno is Shaggy and Scooby? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what does that make me, Freddy? I think that does make you, Freddy. Fred. I think that does make Kalani Fred. Daphne. Uh, let's see here. That would make probably Varut Velma. Yeah. And that would make Griswold Daphne. Yes, it would. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're a literal Scooby gang. 